Dope, 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 dope. Let's do this. Well, I know, I know, but Blaze is about to get us DMCA'd for whatever that shit is. It's the Sun Devils jersey release. That so. looks like a normal Sun Devils jersey. I don't know. Oh, they have the pitchfork up front. They still need to use the little, the devil. I'm here. I'm about it. I think the devil's dope. Yeah, that should be on the, on the front of the jerseys. Oh, is it kind of lazy that the Kings just have L.A. as part of their primary logo? <laughs> Why? I, it's just I think it's lazy to just write the name of your city, your state, and your logo. I like, mean, they're kind of just following uh, the Dodgers and how successful that branding is. But I, I don't care that they wrote Dodgers on their jersey. That's the team's name. No, but like the L.A. hats yeah. that just have the L.A. on it is yeah, like it, the number two selling height behind the other one that just says N.Y. Baseball's on it. weird, though, because every team's hat is just like <laughs> a letter mark. It's true. Not Toronto's. That's true. Toronto's have the J on it. That's pretty dope. The Orioles. Yeah, but the Orioles are terrible, always. They are pretty good last year. I know, I mean, but they've been bad for like a Dude, decade. I think Adley, Adley Rushman is like... For real? The true fifth <laughs> catcher, man. He's so good. I worked with a guy that was the Orioles designer for like 15 years. Well, he had an easy job. <laughs> yep, Nothing about their branding has changed in my entire life. Bird. Well, he updated the bird and stuff like that. But your jersey still says Orioles in yep. cursive. <laughs> I don't know. Sports designing's dope, though. <laughs> Happy holidays, everybody! Hope y'all had a great whatever it is you celebrate. Hope y'all have a great New Year's too. I think New Year's will be fun. Avs yeah, should be good. Avs Leafs, like should be a good game. I think my uh, my whole crew is gonna come down at like halfway through the game. Yeah, our wives will be the wives here. will be here. Yep, yeah. they're gonna watch the game and then we're gonna go watch fireworks and then have a crazy child with us. <laughs> we're gonna watch the game and then go back to my house. Yeah, drink Enrique's house. Get crunk. Yeah. Get crunk. We're going to play games. Word. <laughs> like Pinochle? Uh, we're going to play we're going to play a game that we Spades. just bought uh, called New Phone Who Dis. <laughs> Is it a so, actual game? Yeah. It's like, like a video game? No, no, it's like a card game okay. uh, where you have to like build text conversations with the cards that you have. <laughs> so it's it's kind of yeah, along the lines of like uh, Cards Against Humanity or yeah, yeah, Apples to Apples was I forgot about that game. The game was so good. You mentioned we played it the that. Other day we I'm played like, that on Christmas night. Apples to Apples. It's yeah. so good, man. It's fun playing with uh, teenage boys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the funny thing is, is that you say teenage boys, but really, just bo- we never grow yeah. up, people. When it comes to when it comes to those types of games, oh yeah, boys are always the same. Yep. How can I make either the darkest joke imaginable <laughs> or the dick joke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, apples to apples was the OG for sure. I really want tonight to go well. It would be nice. It's more fun when they I, win. I, I'm still yeah. waiting for this team to get an easy win, man. Lately, it's been squeaking it out every single night, it feels yeah, like. It, that the Nashville win at home was the last. It's about and really as, the and only. Then, and like, even that one's like a one goal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just like they dominated that. Like, they, yeah. like, like Nashville never pushed. Mm-hmm. You remember they pulled the goalie and held the puck behind their own net for 30 seconds? And you're like, <laughs> this is like the easiest thing to defend that any team has ever had like this <laughs> yep. this isn't even like i'm just off camera yep he can just creep in on me <laughs> <laughs> that'll be the only time ben myers loses something tonight oh, oh i'm gonna go ahead and disagree on that one <laughs> <laughs> what's that who don goal tonight all right oh my god who? Exactly. Who, who Don? 
That'll be the goal call. Who that? Who Don? Who? Who that? Who that? Who that bitch? Come on, LOC. Do something cool. Nope. Uh, this is the most... That is vintage LOC. Uh, time check, 1905-04-03-02. Yeah, that play is why I always say <laughs> LOC ran out of talent. The skating, though, is just like <laughs> top tier. It's great. It gets there. Yeah. It's great. And then he runs out of talent. Yeah. <laughs> Think about all the, if the Avs want, like, if they didn't care about winning and all they wanted to do was just have, like, the all star skating we team want, or yeah. something. <laughs> you'd go and get, like, you go and get, like, a, a an Andreas Athanasiu yeah. and, like, a Dylan Larkin. Just dudes that can fly. Like, like add them, those guys, onto your <laughs> roster, you know, and just be like, all right, the <laughs> skills competition for fastest <laughs> skater will feature the Avalanche <laughs> competing avalanche? against each other. <laughs> In my, uh, when I used to play beer league, I used to draft the teams, and there was a kid that was an Olympic speed skater. Oh, Jesus. And we'd always draft him, and he was just learning how to play hockey. And we just taught him, we were just like, just go wide. <laughs> just, just beat everybody yeah. wide. Beat everybody yeah. every time, because you can do it. <laughs> and he did, and he became like, <laughs> Pretty good little player. <laughs> I mean, he didn't have the skill set to like walk through somebody, but he could beat somebody just beat along him the with side. Speed, yeah. yeah. I mean, how many times have you seen in college? Yeah. Like when a when a program can just recruit athletes at a certain level. Yeah. yeah. And like the big thing that when you watch the Buffs be so bad the last few years, where you're just like. <sighs> They don't, regardless of how good any of these guys are, they just don't have the athletes to hang with some of these yeah. teams. Yeah. Yep. And then you, see, you know, you'll see their recruiting, and it's like, oh, what does this guy do? And then you see a highlight of him, just maximum Blasting sprinting downfield, down <laughs> pulling away from That's, twenty other you, guys, and yeah. you're like, the all guys right, where it's like, I can teach that guy how to run a route. Exactly. <laughs> you're like, all right, I don't know if this guy's gonna be in the league someday, but like, I can teach this guy a basic route tree. Yeah. Yeah. He's just gotta, he's just gotta go. Yeah. And you just those that level of athlete, and it's the same thing in in hockey where if you just build a team full of guys that can just fly, like. You'll have a certain level of success just being dangerous doing oh yeah that yeah what's you look up at wild the, fin you look at you look at uh, like how Alex Newhook just stresses out defenses sometimes where he just puts his head down and goes and <laughs> you're just like oh like here he's off my uh, my uncle's philosophy building college teams was we might be outskilled but we will never be outworked and like his. Conditioning Oof. of the hockey players was brutal. Yeah, but they were always in it. They were always ready to yeah. go. I mean that shit works, man. Yeah. It just it always has. Like, yep. and if you're willing to put in the work, if you're willing to commit to that, like, you'll accomplish ooh, your goal. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you'll accomplish your goal of staying in. Oh it. yeah. Yep. You'll be competitive with pure hard work, no matter what. And then you'll get dunked on by Nathan McKinnon, <laughs> but that's all right. That was almost the nastiest from Kale, <laughs> but then it wasn't. It's was a great movie. Just so many almost highlights from him. Yep. I mean, he had net to shoot at. He a did. lot of it. Nah. If he just tries he to go short, short side, side. Yeah, yeah, he would have had him. <laughs> really easy for us watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, slow motion. making that millisecond <laughs> yeah. decision. Look at all that space he's got back there. <laughs> why, why doesn't he just shoot where the go 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 goalie <laughs> isn't? <laughs> I was wondering when I was a kid, I was always like, I don't get it in baseball. <laughs> like, you got nine guys standing around all over the field. There's tons of space where they're not just standing. Just where they are. Oh, just, oh God. Benjamin. All Can't right. do that, Benjamin. Man. Bottom human. You don't bottom, see that? Bottom human Ben. That comment I said, he looks like a little McKinnon, kind of. <laughs> with his shit on. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
He doesn't have the raggy ass beard, so. So what does he do wrong here? Yeah, I mean he wraps him up a little bit, but there's not a there ton. There was a there. little bit more of a can opener before that started. Hooking is the call. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, uh, another slow start. Classic abs. That was more of a trip than whatever Ben Myers just did. All right. Good win. Good clear. Well, at least not, it's not 21st anymore. <laughs> it's changed in the wrong direction. <laughs> 16th against 22nd. This is like the most mid matchup. Yeah. <laughs> the mid. And wouldn't you know it, LA, a mid city. So. Really? I think it adds so. Up. Yeah. I, I wouldn't even have it that high. Even lower? I really had, like, the time that I spent in LA, I've enjoyed because of the experiences and the people that I was with. But everything about the city itself, I was out on. I don't like. I give every big city a mid because they have all the amenities and eclecticness that I want from like food and. If you yeah. want to go to go go get something, even at three in the morning, you can do it. I mean, I tried to go uh, last night. I couldn't sleep, and I was like, I want a frozen pizza. It was like one in the morning, right? I was just gonna go to a grocery store and grab. Grocery stores are just not twenty four hours anymore. Nope, King Super stopped doing that shit. Yep. They stopped it right before COVID, and then COVID was like their perfect, like, yeah. we're never, never going back. Yeah. I hate it. I, know, I, I did that same thing where it was like 2.30 in the morning. I was like, I'm going to go get some ice cream. Drove over there. I was like, yeah. oh, you're uh, not open anymore. My gas station's still open. And yeah, so that's, 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 like, there's, a, there's 7-Elevens and stuff by us, yeah. but there are other risks there. So, <laughs> nah, come on, bro. At our 7-Elevens, there are other risks there. All right, oh. if you say so. Oh, go get that. That was a little... That bad play by the goalie right there with the puck cost him 10 seconds. Yep. I was watching the Eagles power play. Their drop pass coming into the zone happens like at the blue line. Yeah. <laughs> it is crazy to watch. They don't really have. Oh, oh boy. God. Wow. It's nice work by Georgi to stick yeah. with it at yeah, least. It is. I think, and, and like the initial shot never got sold hard enough yeah. for him to overcommit. Yeah. Which is where we've seen him get beat so where many he times. He fully sells out. Yeah. There we go. Because Come if on, that's Yugi. a. If that's a if that's a full like shot fake, yeah, full commit, yeah, yeah, he's gone. I, he's in the left corner exactly. At that point. <laughs> then I think then I think there's a much better chance that that move works. But yeah. the guy held on to the puck and then was like, "Now I'll make the move." And I just you know it's a great job by Georgiev. It's just a really bad finish. Agree, I'd... really bad. Better play from the forward and it's a goal most likely. Yeah. But. But, you know, I mean, it's on you to execute. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've been dogging the abs for two weeks because... Because <laughs> they do that. They, they can, can't They can create a chance that looks <laughs> like that, and it does not end up in the back of the net. Erod making some stuff happen. I don't know if that's eight or nine. That's nine. I never know. I, I get them mixed up constantly. I was well, just confident that because time. The, and because the abs move around so much. Right. Their forwards are always rotating high. Yeah, and, like, and kills always attacking. So yep. you're just like, well, this doesn't help me. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. England with the pass yeah, to himself. Fine. It was fine. He saw <laughs> open ice, put the puck there, and <laughs> skated to it. <laughs> That's how he's going to stay in the lineup, folks. That's right. Oh, my God. All right, this is bad. A couple of guys not. So well, and it's like, oh. where the fuck is everybody? <laughs> Worked out okay. Is it? Oh, oh, my gosh. Boy. Nice save. <sighs> I don't get it, man. Don't look at me. Ooh, that was cute. That was a really nice play. And that was not so good a shot. (laughs) 
Ah. Stick just got on it. Okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh. Hello. What? <laughs> Z just sends a picture of Sli a Sliceworks pizza. Ooh. And it's like, no words are necessary. <laughs> it's winning the Stanley Cup and there's getting your significant other a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> If your feed is way behind, you can just pause us and sync it up. I'll give you a time check when we get back from the commercial, but... Cheers, d -Gro. <laughs> They've been cracking down. You might have to clear your cash. Yeah. Who's been cracking down? ESPN Plus on VPNs. Oh, yeah. Might have to. It, I've heard clearing <laughs> cash and cookies will like. 49.93. <laughs> <laughs> Not 50. That's so funny. Well, now it's 49.83. Sucks to suck, JT. Or 49.5. I don't, I mean, I don't know. 10 what is zero? it? 11. Jesus. I always root for the weak teams to get at least one. I don't know what dry January is. Yeah, I'm... I, is this if like you no, mean like November? alcohol January, I'm going to drink in January still. Uh, 11, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43... We're at the point where I consume alcohol about once a month now. That's dumb. Okay. You should drink more. I mean, yeah. So back-to-back -back seven point games? Cool. As far as like that's as long as you're not fucking your life up, do whatever you want in either direction. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. Fuck. That blocker. It's always that blocker, man. Yeah. <sighs> That's such a soft goal, yeah, dude. His blocker is nowhere there, man. I mean, look where that goes in. It's not like posted yeah, in. It's, that's it's well like, into the net. You're six inches inside the post, dude. That's a bad goal. Ugh. You just need a save there, man. I... I don't even. I, the defense doesn't even have a fucking. I, I don't. I, I don't have a problem with the defense on that. I mean, I think you could have had a better handoff on Velarde as the high forward. It's just not a good shot. It, it, you just need a save. That's not... I, I agree. That fucking... That's just... That's just bad, dude. You need more from your goalie.
Rudo, what are you streaming on? Sports Surge. Or Volo Kit is the good one I always use. What is it? Just search Volo Kit. Okay. Oh, no, she got it to work. Just yeah. had to update the VPN. Oh, there you go. VPN. Good. Yep. The arms race is on. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It honestly has taken longer like, than I thought it would. Yeah. You needed a better you needed a better back check from is that Mulligan, I think. But again, it doesn't change the fact that Kyogi oh, has got to save penalty. that. Yeah, I mean, you can always play better defense. Like there's it's very rarely are you looking at a shot on goal being like, "Well, everybody oh. did everything completely correct yeah, there and right. the puck just went in." Like, definitely you could have tightened it up there. It was a little loose, but Jesus, man. That shot just should not be beating an NHL goaltender. Well, a pretty familiar spot with the Avs down one nothing in the first period at this yeah. point. I hate that for Myers, just this blind you're sending the puck through the middle and you're hoping something good happens instead of making something good happen. What the f <clears throat> you believe we're nearing the halfway point of the season? I know. It went quick, didn't it? And it just feels like we haven't gotten to see the Avalanche play hardly at all yep. this year. Yep. It's been a mess. I, I, it's weird though too, right? Because they're also like seven games above five hundred. Like, yeah, well, they're doing they're right fine. Part of the playoff yeah. run, uh, the the playoff mix. Without, like, they're not so far back of anything. And they've spent the majority of the season with at least like three top six forwards out. Yep. <laughs> For what? I will look. <laughs> I mean, seven wins is still a ways off, but. <laughs> you see that Andrew Tate stuff? Yeah, he got arrested. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> I have absolutely no sympathy for Andrew Tate. <laughs> he can get bent. <laughs> Grado didn't do anything. He did that shit to himself. <laughs> Yeah, no, A plus this, like amazing. I mean, it's really easy just to go for the. You have a small dick joke. Yeah. Yeah, but it was funny. Like, it was funny. I laughed. I mean, Seattle's been a in a playoff spot. Almost for this most of the year. year, yeah. <laughs> no, they have a World Cup. 
Uh, no. Olympics is bigger. Yeah. NHL and the Olympics used to be, like, when that was allowed to happen, man, was intense. Yeah, it was crazy. It was shit. intense. Like, the NH- like, NHL shuts down for three weeks. The entire hockey world focuses on just that. Yep. And now, <laughs> men's hockey at the Olympics for the last three now Olympics has been it an after yeah. Oh, God. Everybody was going to go, right? It was going to be like, yeah. To be, but then COVID happened. Yeah. Uh, what's that? I think well, it will come back after the next CBA bargaining. Well, yeah, I mean, it's really important to the players, but the, how important? Because every, you know how CBA negotiations work. Every time that one side gives you something, you have to give something I back. Know, I, I understand and the only thing works. that The only thing the owners ever really want is... Or financial, or, the, or financial considerations. But the thing is, like, and so how important is I it to players? Like it's a pretty easy chip for the players to play to be like, look, you guys were gonna give us this if not for COVID. So yeah, and like they agreed to it, but also they included like the out. Yeah, sure. Which of course they took. And, and I'm saying next time, I think there's no out. Okay, in return for what? It's not gonna be nothing. Is what I'm I saying. I hear you. I hear you. So that's why I'm saying we will see how important it is to the players. I, I think it's pretty important. I'll put it that way. I think they really want it, but do they want it over money considerations? Do they want it over certain escrow you know, adjustments uh, and whatnot? Yeah. You know, do they change? Do they do they want to fight over a bonus structure? Do they want to fight over ELCs? Do they want to fight over minimums, maximums? What are they What are they seeking in the next CBA that they sure. would have to yeah, They would have to table in exchange for? I get it. I do. That. And obviously, I'm not and in that's, key enough to know what the NHLPA yeah, really and, wants there. But. Like, the agreement that they came to with the last CBA was really important because they were, for realsies, on the edge of, like, yeah. a real strike. Turbo that was, lockout, yeah. That was going to, I mean, I don't think it was going to be all year or anything, but it was going to be an important... Break point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like it was gonna be, it was gonna be tough. So I don't know. We'll we'll see what they give up in order to, because um, I do think more games is probably where it's headed. Which I don't. I you don't I, need more games, man. There's there's no demand for it yep. from like people like us. There's no demand for more NHL games in the regular season. Less. What what is it a sixty six is the perfect number. Yeah. Yep. I agree. By like certainly by game seventy. Almost every playoff spot is decided, except for maybe like one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And has Game has eighty two? Yeah, St. Louis and Blues like the, the Avs are a direct <laughs> benefactor of there being eighty two yeah. games. Where, but uh, yeah. the where, where, other ninety percent of the league seventy though. Right? Do we know? I don't know. I don't fucking yeah, remember. Yeah, because they were right in there. And you have and you have ninety percent of the league playing games that just don't fucking yeah. matter. Yeah. Like. You no, literally I'm, have I'm 100% like, on board like, 60s is the right You range. You watch the yep. Avs just not give a fuck for the last 10 games of last that, season. That, like, like the, the yeah. 56 game season was a great limit. Because test, it, was sprint, it was like, yeah. well, it was like, yeah. this, is, this is not enough. Yeah. For sure. It felt too short. It also happened really fast because they played every other day. Yeah. At yeah. least for like three months well, straight. Yeah. Every team that had a COVID break had, it was had like, to, had to, it was, it was back to back day off game. Dallas, off, Colorado, back back, and yeah. New Jersey were that three teams that schedules. ended up playing. Yeah. Like it was like, it was like two months I, straight yeah, with right. no and, days and off. And like, I, I couldn't believe, I remember that because I was fucking exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> I we can't were, even imagine how the players were. Like, we were burned out yeah. by the end of that year. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's too much. All right. Finish strong here, Evs. At least do good stuff for the last half, last fourth of the period. I think he scored 100 points exactly in the 56-game season. Still ridiculous. Oh, dude. It was, it was absurd while it was happening. <laughs> but every, every statistical thing from that season felt like it came with a really big asterisk. 
because you didn't play everybody and there were absolutely stronger and weaker divisions and the Canadian division yep. was garbage. Yep. Yeah. It was garbage that year and he was just running around feasting on bad defenses every single night. Yep. And it doesn't like there's no asterisk in in reality. It doesn't take away from it, well, but yeah, they're going to be like, oh, wow, 100 points in 56 games. That was crazy. That was crazy. It was fucking crazy. And they'll slay you, but they'll be like, yeah, but still, they played the game. So it was crazy. <sighs> no, nah, the playing is terrible. I hate it. Oh, I disagree. I well, I don't want to. I don't, I don't need to play it in hockey, but yeah. I love I love the play it in the NBA. I think it's oh, a ton that, of fun. I, the play in the in the NCAA tournament, a ton of fun. The, I'm fine with it in NCAA. I it's think great, there are man. places that it works. Hockey's playoff structure, as constructed, is perfect. Why would you fuck with it? It would it would be perfect if they went back to one through eight. Fair. It's the only the format of it is my only complaint about the postseason. I I go, I want to go just top sixteen, all the way. I would have 16. no issues. All the way. I would have no issues. Yeah. Huh. I do well, think you should reseed yeah. every round. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. It's just take the top sixteen teams. It doesn't matter if it's uh, imagine or West. you're the top. You're the top seed, and you get sixteen and fifteen in back to back rounds, and you're just like, <laughs> time to eat conference <laughs> final, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason hockey, part of the reason hockey has the blessed playoffs in every sport is because the eight seed genuinely has a chance. Yeah. Like, yeah. well, it's happened. LA's done it. Chicago, did, did right. Chicago do it. It, it doesn't that happen season? very often, but it's not LA the NBA it. where LA it's happened it, yeah. twice ever. Yeah. Or like, three one in a basketball game. Yeah. About as close. Three one. Yeah. In a game series. Yeah. No? There's like the amount of fucking people that come back from that is so low. Hmm. Compared to the NHL. Like the NHL is like, yeah, actually come back and win. It's, it's still really still low. Pretty low. Yeah, it's still quite low. Oh, that's, oh, that's interference. What? Yeah, goddamn right it was a hand pass. <laughs> Good job, Ben Myers. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You know he's going to have a terrible game every time AJ tries to talk him up. It's just <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was fucking around last time, and he had a great game. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah he, he played the puck. Yeah, he, he is actively trying to play the puck. He was the last <laughs> person to touch it. Yeah. Like, it's still in his vicinity. Yeah, it's, it's a hand pass. That's a good call. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, I just I don't care about the travel in one through sixteen. So, so this is a this is an interesting thing I think because I don't care about because I think it makes it more well, dynamic. So, so the thing is, we cover a Colorado team. Crazy travel is just fucking normal for yeah, us. Yeah, you know like, who, you know who has a problem with that? The coasts. The yeah, East, well, right. the East Coast does too. The Colorado teams have insane travel every year because nobody's near us. Yeah, like. Like what I what I love if they if the Avs try you know travel wise in a postseason was oh they go to Dallas then they go to Arizona yeah. then they go to Vegas <laughs> then, fuck then. yeah <laughs> you know or or St Louis but like yeah oh if you end up like oh the Avs are the Avs end up getting like Calgary and Nashville and it's like and that's not even that big of a deal imagine <laughs> I mean back. imagine if imagine if they yeah imagine if they get Vancouver you get Tampa yeah you get, you get Vancouver you get Tampa you get uh, any yeah. of the New York teams, yeah. like, and, but I'm like I I just don't know I don't care about that argument because oh, I'm just so used to I don't the either. Abs road trips being insane. I just like, think I just think it's one more element of yeah it's hard to win. Yeah. You need to you need certain things to kind of break your way in the postseason. And for me, I just think it's an it's an it's an interesting layer, and it you'll get matchups that you've never gotten before. I would not get rid of the conferences. I'd do eight from each, but I understand if you would want to. You would need to keep the conferences. Uh, you can get rid of divisions, for regular, but not for regular season scheduling. Yeah. I think you would need to keep yeah. it. Because it's just not fair if you have like uh, 12 teams from the East got in because they all went 5-0 and against the shitty East teams. So. <laughs> yeah. 
And relegation. Let's add relegation. Okay. Okay. <laughs> relegation to the AHL. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> you know how funny that would be. I I hate it. I just. It just doesn't. I don't to me, it hate doesn't work. relegation, it doesn't work. but it doesn't. It doesn't yeah. work in North yeah. America. No, it doesn't. I don't have any issue with how it's set up over in like Premier League right. and stuff. But it's fine. You just can't have a draft. But the with draft, relegation. yeah, the yeah. drafting like, thing is the part. And I that and I despise it. the academy system yeah. of, of Europe. Like, Having like seven year olds. Yeah, in it's your so system. fucking stupid. Like, awesome. Oh god, not like this. Uh, I look so okay ish. He just got the wind no, he knocked out of him. Dude, he's gonna have a broken bone I somewhere. I said okay ish. For it's the gonna abs- be like it'll be like the smallest yeah. bone in a guy's yeah. back, and, and it will have broken in fourteen places. That's yeah, he didn't even come close to playing that puck, oh, bro. Yeah, God. that's that hurts. Was that Dasher? Um, I think that's a oh, oh god, and yeah. then the follow through too. I'm sorry, yeah. I'd suspend him for one game. It's it. I mean, it, he blew up his head, right? Oh, he's bleeding. There's blood. Yeah. I, I would, I would, it should be a four. I would suspend him personally. Hey, 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 he's bleeding, yo. Yeah, yes. that's that's definite protocol at very least. Oh, yeah, 100%. No, you don't get to blow a guy up, hurt him, and then smirk in the. Where's Curtis McDermott? Yep. Go, go over there go, right go now. Go wreck that dude. Like, where's Lemieux? I thought make like Lemieux make like Goon it. and just go s- just stand outside right. of it. <laughs> just hang out yeah. outside the box like, and wait. What's up? <laughs> We're doing this. And then as soon as he gets out, suplex him. <laughs> That's the best. By the way. Oh my. What the fuck, Miko? Come on. You heard the Wiener conversation. It's like, I can't get any better. <laughs> they need to put mics in the penalty box. And, again, subscription-based. It would it would immediately be the most popular oh, content that the NHL they would, has ever yeah. done. It would fucking... It would get 100 million views. It would like, open Sports Center yeah, every night. It's straight up. <laughs> and then... Cancel culture would end it <laughs> immediately. <laughs> That's true. It wouldn't last long. Hand pass, man. They'd have penalty box coaches. Also, yeah, like you wouldn't get all the foot shakes that they fucking be so like insane. No way. In the in the in the heat of heat battle, of it, they would say what man. they're gonna say. <laughs> yep. yeah, You just got to find the line, and that's all. Yeah, just don't be homophobic. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Not wrong. That's like, that's like the number one thing where you're like, don't be homophobic and don't be racist. Talk shit about that guy's mom all you want, but just, just don't, don't cross those lines, and it's the greatest content the NHL has ever produced. Doing what? Derek Thomas of the Chiefs recites his girlfriend's phone number yeah. to him. Oh, yeah, that shit's insane. Well, and like Derek, Derek Thomas was like Hall of Fame, like yep. super cool, calm, and it's and it's like every single play he's freaking out. Yeah. <laughs> this has been this an so unbelievably bad, bad dude. power play, like. This is so Kings bad. Kings have and one of the worst PKs in the league. And, and it's Colorado's it best great. players that are doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's Miko, been better of a late, but yeah. It's Miko has a puck that just, just away yep. from his stick for no reason. Go, make him pay for it, Nui. Oh, my gosh. Walk in, okay. brother. Okay. Dude, you just. You have to do something with don't, that. Yeah. You have no interest in uh, making that play. And here comes a nothing shot, or even nothing. less. Be fair, your second unit is Myers, Malgin, and Newhook, so you're not exactly <laughs> expecting a ton out of that. But and that's the end Jesus. of the period. I mean, they that was like bad. That was just a bad period they of hockey. Like shit, dude. Yeah. 
I'm really excited it's intermission so we can talk about something else. Anything but this hockey game right now. Holy fuck. Yeah, uh, abs need to be way better in the second to make this a hockey game. That's uh, no two ways around that. That was just bad. Uh, I'm going to go empty my bladder, take a break. You know, the drill chat. We'll be back in five to talk about AJ's Ugh. favorite Hallmark movie or some shit. Oh, I don't have one. <laughs>
Oh boy. Anyone good at GeoGuessr in the chat? It's been my new obsession lately. And I'm really bad at it, but I'm slowly learning. Picking up a few countries' bollards. What they look like. I won't play that shit. Why not? Because I watched that crazy guy play it, and yeah, I'm just I mean, like, I'm you're a dork. I'm never going to be that good. I only like watching when he just does the, hear the location of the memes. Yeah, sure. It's pretty good. I like when he does like a stream, and people are like, how are you so good? And he's like, I don't know. I just played it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I just know what stuff looks like. I'm like, sorry, but there's no way you just (laughs) played GeoGuessr so much. There's a whole, there's like whole websites dedicated to like information on how you can tell what country is what. Yeah, no team has the the amount of depth to survive losing half of your top (laughs) six and half of your decor yeah i don't want to say top four but like certainly you're starting six yeah yeah, but but losing just one of your pairings right off the top yeah like no team in the nhl was built to overcome that across 82 games there's no contingency plan for that you lose your your both of your top left wings and your number one center yep Arguably three of your four best players. Yeah. Like, find me a team in the world that survives that across 82. Not they were, you know, they made it a week. Not they made it six games. 82 games. Nah, it, 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 it'd be three of your best five, not four. Miko's too good, but. Yeah, true. Like, it's not, it's just not revelatory to, yeah. you know. That this team is struggling a little bit. Yeah, like that's we knew that this it was going to look like this. It's not a problem with the salary cap. That, that's the point that's of the salary like, cap. That is exactly the point of yeah, the salary is that cap. It, look, yeah. and, and that's the point of like pro sports in general is look, you just have to make decisions. You have to be good at building a team. Yep. You have to be good at identifying talent and understanding how to get excess contributions on a per dollar basis. Baseball probably got too good at it. Yep. Uh, Unless, except for then they give dudes five hundred million dollar contracts on the other end of it. But well, I don't even know how you justify that. <laughs> then they hired a. <laughs> they, they allowed like an uber 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 rich guy into yeah. the club who was yeah. like, "Oh, you guys don't have a salary cap? Sick! Let me just splash all the cash." Yeah. They can't win the Bedard sweepstakes. Yeah. They they won't be bad they enough. They won't be bad enough to win Bedard. They, there's definitely a reality where the Avs never get healthy and end up missing the playoffs. But yeah, I mean, we saw it happened with Vegas last year. Yeah. Now, Vegas was also a lot more self-inflicted, but also, like, they had insane injury luck all season long. I, we had this conversation in the Discord last night a little bit, and, and I think... That's cap relief is stupid for re-signing, whether it's free agents or your own drafted players. Like, that's dumb. I agree. You might as well just not have a cap at that point, is, is what I'm saying, if you're giving exemptions for that. I do think there's something there. We talked about this, too. Like, I think the NHL should completely restructure how they do bonuses oh yeah i do i do agree but also it's like there have to be some guardrails on it right. like you can't just let dudes have a 500k contract and 10 million in bonuses and ex- shit, well and but. like the bonuses are like you played five games, right right you won <laughs> you won one case off <laughs> you know like there have to be some kind of guardrails there but um like that's that's it. I would be all about because I'm all about players getting paid. And oh, totally. For totally. leagues finding ways to give more money to them. But also, like, 
There's all these like radical ideas to change things, and I just don't think the system it has. It doesn't a major, need that. Yeah, I agree. I I think of the major sports, I think the NHL is certainly the most stable. Yeah, well, and I think it's I think it's the easiest to understand for a casual fan if they want to get into the business side of things, because if you care about the NBA or NFL, it's chaos. <laughs> you're dealing with like. Like in the NFL, it's non guaranteed contracts yep. and like penalties are fucking right. insane. D- dude, you can just free up fifty million in cap tomorrow because you cut a guy. Like, yeah. well, and or not, you or, know, or, or, like, or, or that Russell money's Wilson guaranteed, thing, right? Yeah, where mm-hmm. you're just like, well, you're tied to this guy for fifty million dollars for the next several years. Like, yep. I think the NHLs is the easiest to understand for for fans to care about. Agree. And fans <laughs> care, as, as we've learned. Like anybody that's ever worked in sports media should be able to tell you that can't, fans care an absolute ton about free agency and trades and player yep. movement. Yep. So, and, and like the armchair GM thing on Cap Friendly is literally gets hundreds of posts every single day for a reason. Of just people building teams. Yeah, yeah. people just fucking around. They're bored. They're, oh, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. I love reading through it and like being like, these are stupid. That's literally, we have a roast my roster segment. Every couple months. Yeah, yeah, like three times a year because we love pulling those and having a good time I, with them. I appreciate the people who post dumb rosters way more than the people who go on every post and say, no, nah, it wouldn't happen. Rangers say no. Yeah. Oh, you like mine? You like my post then. <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> That's you on fucking... Well, remember the last time you guys were like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's a good time to like... Go crazy with it where yeah. you're like, oh, well, well, it's fun. You're like, ah. I mean, what, what was it? Three like? years ago, I traded like 11 yeah, things you, to the you Ducks. Like <laughs> some stupid amount. I traded, of I traded a yeah. ton of shit so that I could get Ryan Getzlaff, John Gibson, and <laughs> Hampus Lindholm. Yeah. And how glad are you that that wasn't real life? <laughs> Oh, we do we'll, it every year. We'll man. definitely yeah. do that yeah. around the deadline. Do, yeah. We always do roast, uh, roster roasting. <laughs> like, <laughs> we always oh, we yeah. did do it in like 30 minutes. Does he play another shift in this game? Do the Avs get a lead in the second period? No. Then no. <laughs> uh, you should make some adjustments to your helmet, bud. Yikes. The, so the you get cap relief from your own draft picks because of ELCs already. That's how it works. It, well, and like you you kind of get it when you sign a guy to an eight year deal and they take less right. AAV. Like, like those those that's systems, not necessarily a draft pick, that's your own but guy. Those systems but, are yeah. already integrated. They're like you don't need to just make more money disappear. You're like Yeah. Well, if money's no issue, I don't. Uh, you see, Taves and Kane are like Chicago came out and said we're going to start shopping. Oh yeah, I oh mean, did they? They made it official. They said we're going to start talking to both of them about where they, they want to go, yeah, places yeah. that they might end up. No guarantees for you know a longer contract. I'm a hundred percent in that boat. I want Taves to see. So I've got a plan um, for like the ultimate like. 2C Avalanche guide to the trade yeah, deadline. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been working on it for a couple of weeks now, kind of like what I want it to look like, how in depth it's going to be. And I've got six guys that I've identified that I'm going to write about. And we're going to get, Word. I'm going to do video and I'm going to do stats and I'm going to do everything, right? I'm going to break it into two pieces because diehard content, baby. <laughs> yep. Because one of them will be free and one of them won't be, so that the diehards will uh, will get it. But it'll be, uh, uh, I think, a really interesting because I've, I've been keeping tabs on all these guys. I've got all the shit like in a folder now. Yeah. So I look at it every couple of days. I update it and I and I look at everything and compare them. And I'm like, all right, so. There are still some problems here. There are some problems there, but... <laughs> Casey, I'm going to go ahead and need you to pick up Alex Newhook and stick him on your bench, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still of the opinion that Taves is your most cost-effective, your bang-for-your-buck best option. Best fit is still O'Reilly, and absolutely not going to happen is Bo Horvat. Yeah. yeah, it's just yeah. way too expensive. But there are some other guys out there that, you know, get talked about where it's like, all right. 
I can break that guy down. That's easy enough. Well, if there's lingering issues, though, and you're getting close to a trade deadline and somebody goes on LTIR, if you're going yeah. full short-term rental, you can do it. Yeah, you could. As long as the Avs are still in kind of a playoff spot at that point. <laughs> I mean, I don't think the Blues are going to trade O'Reilly because they're going to be all. close enough yeah. to a playoff spot that it's not going to matter. Yep. But I also think this division rival shit is way overblown. Yeah. If, Especially for a guy whose contract is up. Exactly. Well, right. Like, look, are they not going to trade Tarasenko to, to, to the Avs because they're a division rival? Like, if the Avs have the best offer, they have the best offer. Yeah. Now, if they consider all offers to be equal, and that guy's going out like, east, and he has no chance to come back and haunt you, the, then yeah, of course, the division the rival time, thing will play a role The last it. time someone didn't want to trade somebody to a division rival, San Jose left all the way to the fucking bank about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, and was it Don? I think it was Don Sweeney that was yeah. like, what do you want from me? <laughs> so, I... The, the 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 argument that I always make with Taves is it's just cost efficiency. Yep. Like, yep. are you getting the best player that you can? No. Yeah. But are you getting a guy that fits you pretty well across fits the your board? your needs, does what you need. Yeah. yeah. Makes you a little bit better than you are, and you may even have a chance. Look, if it goes really well, maybe you consider re-signing have him at the end of it. Have a there, man. And, uh, yeah. I mean. And there's no first-round pick. There's no... Uh, there's no Sean Barron's. There's not no Oscar yeah, right. Well, like, and that's to me the only untouchable piece. No Eustace Onanen in like, the Av system is nope. is Barron's for me. For me, it's Barron's and Onanen. I, I can see Onanen. Like, yeah. I I don't think I'd make him untouchable, but I totally see where you're I, coming from. I I would say uh, obviously not untouchable. Sure. I, I mean, I know. And, and Barron's yeah. is like right. If someone's like, give me Sean Barrett's, we'll give you. If, like, <laughs> like, let's say Edmonton falls out of it, and right. they're like, hey, we're making Leon Drysaddle available. Right. You're like, okay, we'll all make. Like, <laughs> yeah, we'll, you make we'll, some concessions. We'll fucking, <laughs> like, okay, well, Sean Barrett's is all kinds of touchable. Yeah. <laughs> Put your hands all over him if you want. Like, Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I but mean. For realistic targets. Yeah, Barrett's yeah. and On and In are the ones where it's just like, ah, I, I just think. No. Yep. And I'm I'm boarding the uh, Avs should use their first round pick on Trey Augustine train right now. Yeah, who has a thicker booty, Rob Blake or Kim Kardashian? Ooh. I mean, you could play quarters, full games of quarters off both asses. <laughs> That's what so. I'm saying. Like, it's a real competition there. Mm. And Rob's is all natural, so <laughs> we don't know that. It is. I he mean, played in L.A. a long right. time. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's true. A long time, my <laughs> man. <laughs> when he sits down, he sits in two chairs just because the butt. <laughs> One for each yep. cheek. Yep. He wants he wants a cozy chair for each cheek. <laughs> mm. It does get prorated, Dan. Prorated every day of the season. Yeah, it's the cap, the 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 cap is calculated daily, um, which means that players like a ten million dollar player at the start of the year is like a three million dollar player at trade deadline yeah, time. It, like if you take Taves as an example, assuming Chicago retains half, takes them down to what five point two, five point two five, and there'd yeah, be let's call it three quarters of the season done. So he ends up around one point seven. Yeah, something like that. Good doable. sticks. It is it is doable, and the question would be is uh, if that's your only move, you're, you Fine, you can yeah. make it. You can make you, that fit. You, what did you get? Oh, okay, I got it. A little poutine action. Yeah. Just regular fries, I assume. Yeah. The yeah. The, the sweet fries are not it in the poutine. I, so I got a mixture. Yeah. I got both, so I could try them both at the same time, because I was curious how bad the sweet fry or the sweet potato fry actually was in that. It's real bad. Yeah. Yep. 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 Second period is going 1852, 51, 50, 49. Yeah, the ads have a rough offseason ahead of them, though. It's going to be a tough one. Yeah. JT's probably gone. 
I mean, you're looking at JT and Rodriguez well, probably not sticking around. You pr- whatever they, whatever guys you they get at the deadline. probably try to sign Erod back, depending. But oh, and then uh, Cogliano and Helm are once again UFA. Gone. I think like, both gone for sure. Probably like, do they retire? You yeah. Know? If you go out and you spend a million dollars each to, to replace each guy, like yeah, are you going to get you, guys? You who run can out fit of money real quick. Especially with the cap now probably only going up a million this year. Yeah, that four million would have been a godsend for the Avalanche. Yep. There you go, a little three on two. Come on. Can't even Doesn't beat even the get first a shot man. Goal, man. Yeah. Just not good enough, man. Yeah. It's just not good enough. <sighs> They've had so many blocked shots in the last few weeks. Yep. I'm just tired. My legs hurt watching the abs play. <laughs> I tell Z it's just when it gets cold, my knee flares. Yeah, I up think I think your really legs just, just hurt, buddy. <laughs> I think it's it's really just that I channel all the avalanche shot That's blocks. What, just all focusing it into that one knee. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There was nobody there. There was a guy there. No, there's there only abs. Watch. Yeah, the dude was sliding across. See, it, was wasn't two abs. A, it wasn't a good pass, but I get the concept. It's a Hail Mary. Ooh. It's like a Hail Mary right before halftime. It doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't I mean, you're, you're right. It's never going to work. But the one yeah, time I'm, it does work, yeah. you know. It's probably a goal on the back door. <laughs> Smashes into him. Kaboom. Yeah, it almost worked, so let's try it three more times. <laughs> hey, all right. Yeah, nothing has happened. What are happened. you accomplishing right now? <laughs> and you settle for a Miko wrist shot from the point. like. Well, Miko settled for that. No. I know. Give but that to Miko. That's not G. I, I'm, I'm blaming the team as a whole, not G. Yeah. <laughs> I can live with that. I feel, I feel comfortable blaming all of them right now. <laughs> You're all fucking disappointment. All right, get the puck to Kale and let Kale do dope shit on this power play. Man, it's such a good life philosophy. Just <laughs> let Kale do dope shit. <laughs> let Kale be Kale. Ugh. Come on. Oh, oh my God. I really kind of wished he shot it into his own net there. That would have been <laughs> hilarious. I mean, come on. Ready for Nate and Nuke to come back. Uh, this is not a thing that Miko, the Miko on the zone entry. Well, that was JT as much as it was Miko, but. This needs to be further behind. Well, so you can re-catch the run back? Yeah, it's like a little too quick. Yeah, where... yeah. Well, maybe I'm the one that's slow and not it. <laughs> not it. Couldn't be. I'm open to that, man. Couldn't I've not be. been sleeping lately. That was nice. That was less nice. Yeah, not the best shot in the world. The Miko follow up isn't likely. Like, yeah, it's not. It just wasn't a thing. No, it's hard for me to hard for me sick to say keep. anything. Yeah, sick keep. Yeah, yeah sick keep, sick oh, keep. Shoot it, Miko. Okay, okay. It's still well, in it. It still worked, but Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> he had a literal wide open net, and he passed the buck. <laughs> Oh shit! That bet paid off. That was one of those. That was one of those when he decides to do something yeah. beforehand. Yeah, he's doing it no matter what. Let's go. You're not my real mom. I'm shooting it. <laughs> Actually, insanely sloppy from LA. Glad Dude, the Avs could so take advantage bad. of that. Yeah, this is in, right? Yeah, no, okay. easy in. I thought, it's I not thought even close. For yeah. sure, yeah. but. Avs power play, baby. Sick, sick look off from Erod, Erod there, and then Miko gets lucky as fuck that that didn't get broken Yeah, up. he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right. It went in the back of the net. That's all that counts. We got a hockey game. I love hockey games. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I love them. I get paid to love them. Really, I get paid you because love them. I yeah, love I, them. I think that's more accurate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's let's be honest here. Do it, Doug. Damn it. Oh damn, Sam Gerard, that was a sick play. <laughs> what the hell? That was ballsy too. It was a little all in, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right? It's just an earworm. I can't feed any of these fucking people. <laughs> Deciding the fates of humans. I'm just playing a survival game. I've been playing so many mobile games trying to find something to... I found a couple that I really liked, but they don't have any kind of sustainability. So yeah. this was one I was pre-registered for. I'm even on its official Discord trying to give them feedback every day. Oh, shit. Being a good Samaritan. Yeah, one of their devs argued with me last night. <laughs> I was like... I'm telling you what my experience is. This is, is. just my feedback, dog. There's no argument yeah, to be had. Yeah, well, because he was like, he was like, well, you're wrong about how the system works. I'm like, what? No, I'm not. I literally just played it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I sent him a screenshot because, like, the game, like, is like, oh, you have to gather resources, but you can't gather resources unless you have a certain thing unlocked. Sure. And so I, I was like, well, and the thing is, how do I unlock the fucking thing? Random. Yeah. It is complete RNG to, to unlock it. Sure. And I was like, it feels bad because I, I can't. I, there's nothing I can do. Right. I just have to just, just get have lucky. to wait until it unlocks. Yeah. I'm like, I just have to get lucky here, and this is really bad design because it's totally bottlenecked my entire gaming experience sure. into this one thing. And he's like, well, you can buy it, and I was like, no, I can't. Mm -hmm. I like, I like. Take a screenshot of the shop. It was like, and this was item's like, not in here. And I was like, I can't buy this thing in here. This is, I can buy a chest for a chance at it. Mm -hmm. But I can't just be like, I can't even spend real money to get it, dude. And he was like, yeah, you can. There's a pack in there. And I was like, where? Mm, show this is me. what I'm looking yeah, at. Tell me which where? pack. It was so crazy to me. And yeah, I am so excited for the Diablo 4. I've signed up for the Diablo 4 yeah. and stuff. I, I'm not, I've never been a big Diablo guy, but I have a couple of friends that are like, let's fucking go. You know that I'm big into it. I know you are. Yeah. Uh, DK is I know is he has, he and I have, he and I yeah. have, uh, we were supposed to play Resurrected together. Oh, and yeah. I uh, had a problem mm. not wanting to play it because I was kind of. Like, uh, understandable, yeah. I think I just kind of burned out on D2, where yeah. it was like, I was really excited, and I love all the changes that they made. It's great. It's really cool, but it was also like, do I need, like, another, like, 4,000 hours into the same <laughs> game? I, I know every inch of this yeah. game already, yeah. Because there were only a few things that I had not done. Yeah. And once I did them, I was like, eh, I'm, I'm good. I'm, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think I'm okay here. I'm I'm vibing. By the way, Dragonflight, it's beautiful. It's the best Blizzard game in probably like close to a decade. Z said it's the most Look fun that. that she has had. New Hook's eye was all red. You'll see it down here. Oh, it's not too bad. A little strawberry. Yeah, Z said that Dragonflight is the most fun that she's had since. Definitely since Legion. I think it was since Legion. So she. Oh my God, did she love Legion? <laughs> I think everybody did. I've never heard a longtime WoW player say bad things about Legion. I... Like, not liking it. So, uh, you, Legion was very, very, very good. 
it's also overrated. <laughs> I could, I mean, I again, just because the feedback has been so unanimous. Right. Not that it's glowing. bad. It is great. But especially since it's been a while now, people, the nostalgia is kicking in and people just kind of forget about all the bad parts. Oh, man. Uh, I play on Illidan. I still haven't started Dragonflight. The problem is, is I got home and immediately wanted a single player game. Yeah. And so uh, Gorga gave me Midnight Suns for Christmas. Nice. Which is a fire axis game. And yeah. I love tactical RPGs like that are my like sweet spot in gaming. And I started playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition after two yeah, years so, of waiting. So you're hooked up into that juice now. Yeah. And like it's and next month me. Fire Emblem comes out it, and we'll never exactly. see you again. <laughs> I was talking to Gorga last yeah, night. He's like, yeah. He's like, oh, I never finished Fire Emblem Awakening. And I was like, oh, that sucks. What do you think of Three Houses? Like, I never played it. What? <laughs> but I, not everybody feels the way I do about tactical RPGs, where they're the perfect, for me, they're the perfect mix of world building, role playing, and, Systems, yeah. and combat. Because it's not real time combat. I can right. stop. You and can't just, you're not I'm, just panicking the whole fucking yeah, time like StarCraft. <laughs> well, and I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 2042. Yeah. And I'm just fucking bad at it, man. Yep. Yep. I, like, I've never been good at shooters other than Halo 2. And so I'm like, all right, guess what I do? I, I, I spend my time running around as a medic, rezzing people. I'm just a res bot. <laughs> I finish the game with three kills, yeah, three 30 deaths, reses. Yeah. 17 assists, yeah. <laughs> and 65 reses. And it's like, yeah, that's about right. Three houses is fucking awesome. I'm Hogwarts Legacy is like... That's it my, looks so sick. It's my summer game, and I've waited like, like my whole life for yep. that game. So I, it's incredible that it took them this long to put together a good fucking yeah. Harry Potter game. Uh, well, <laughs> certainly one that just doesn't look like dog shit yeah. from the hop. I couldn't believe they could not make a fun Quidditch game, right? And like Quidditch World Cup was okay, but it was really, really repetitive. I think it's funny. I was talking about uh, Valheim earlier today and how much I think that game sucks. Yeah, Valheim, all, a lot of the survival games are just yeah. not for me, man. So like, I, I bought and installed Frostpunk. Okay. Because it's like part survival, parts. You get like, some of the our world uh, buildy, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And like part. So it's like part survival and part city builder, yeah. but also part politics. Yeah. And there was a game called Sue's Reign that I really, really liked. And it was all about, it was a purely political game where you just ran a country. And the whatever happened in that country was a direct result of the decisions that you made. And it had a bunch of different Some branching storylines. government shit and going it was, on right It was there. really, really, really interesting. It, it clicked in my brain in a way that game like that had never done before. Because I had tried to play the democracy games and hated them. I, I was hard out on MMOs when Destiny released, so I never got into it. Uh, I played, I maxed out a character in Destiny after all their DLC. It was like right before 2 came out. And I played a lot of it for like a month, yeah. month and a half. And then never again because I was playing by myself. Because I, I, I forget when Destiny actually released, but I had gone through, like I quit WoW and Cataclysm. And then I played everything like fucking Wildstar, yeah. The Division, uh, Ion just Ion, right? It's just called Ion. Uh, some of the other ones as well. Yeah, time check 11, 18, 17, Ooh. 16. I would have preferred 15, that as a centering pass. 14. I mean, I, you live with the pad pass there, maybe. You just shoot it low and on net. Yeah, I trying to pick the corner was just yeah. not the option. Yeah. It was not the play. You're right. You're right. It's really, it's really hard to like. The only guys who are scoring goals for you are trying to make plays, and it's like this. I'm fine with it. You gotta, you gotta draw your line somewhere, right? <laughs> like, yeah, of course, Jake playing Destiny. He <sighs> also Dwarf Fortress is cracked, dude. There's no shot I could ever get into that game. It's way too complicated. Uh, I've not played any of that series. No, I don't like survival games. If if Europa Universal Versailles, whatever the fuck it's called. 
had a pause. Like, if it wasn't... Oh, oh my God, come on, Logan. man. Please. If that game was turn-based, I would devour it. But the I, fact that it's not turn-based just kills me. I absolutely... I am such a weird fiend at this point in my life for turn-based combat. I think it's just because I'm old and don't have the reflexes for our like like the RTS FPS anymore. Yeah, I'd say but like I love I love setting it up and planning it and going through and okay, here's the strategy that's why of it. Dude. Anytime I like want to play one of those games, I just end up going back to Rome Total War because it's turn based. Oh my god, that's that is a series that has like, like super quietly carved out a whole little hundreds section hundreds of hours of my life bro didn't even get it on net nope. come on loc that's a great play by uh and mcdermott that this is mcdermott's last shift of the game <laughs> it's a great play by ben myers <laughs> it was i've played great persona pass. man i beat persona three and i played through some of four yeah but jake's all about persona five yeah well and i was going to play five but it was like i just kind of ran out of time when i was interested in it yeah RimWorld is great. I highly recommend it. Like it, it isn't turn based, but I had a lot of fun with RimWorld. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I just said fuck off to the goals of RimWorld. I just said I'm gonna make a colony and <laughs> live here. I'm not gonna try to get off the planet. That's interference. Yeah, they've called that shit on Kale. They McCarr. call it on Kale constantly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You can be really dumb and play RimWorld, all right? I'm real dumb and I play RimWorld. I was looking at some... God, I can't remember the name <laughs> of it, but... I was I was looking at some uh, some puzzle game last night that you needed, like, like to, 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 to use, like, mathematical formulas. And I was like, what the um, fuck Micah, is this? Micah loves those games, like The Witness and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I hate those games. I can't fucking do it. <laughs> I don't get the appeal of them. It's it's not for me. Totally That's lost for sure. on me. Yeah. So. <laughs> I wish there was more to talk about with this game right now because there's just not a lot. There's just nothing going on right yeah. now. The abs aren't playing particularly well. The kings have not played particularly well this period. Yeah. The abs have been better this period, but not like not because they're better, so. just because the kings have kind of played worse this period. <laughs> Get in. Oh. Come on, Devon, make a better play than that, man. I I love him stepping up right there. If he actually does something. Yeah, and instead he just like rubs his butt. Ooh, that was that was a wild puck bounce. Come on, Kale. Kale kind of vibing right now. Shoot it. Oh, yeah. just turn and shoot that Kale. Somebody get open for this guy. Dude. Love you, Erod. Ooh. Has never worked in the history of time, yeah. except for Colin Wilson, and will never work again. Yeah, Colin Wilson's insanely slow version of yeah, it. <laughs> the part where it was like, okay, the spin was not even relevant. <laughs> it was just so slow. Even yeah. like McDavid was like, what's he doing? <laughs> Oh, oh God! My God, dude! All right, Georgiev. Everybody gets one. I think that's two in the last minute. <laughs> uh, the the other one, I thought he stopped. It just took a weird bounce, but I thought it. Yeah, I would say we'll see on replay, but we probably won't. I hate that the abs are going to get an. Over on a power play yeah, that was 17 15 seconds. 15 seconds of power play, and they end up over two on the night or whatever. I guess they scored on one. <laughs> Get in. Get in the net. Why don't you shoot that? I swear yeah, to God. Just shoot it. Holy fucking fuck. Jesus. They just. This, that's, a, that's a team lacking confidence. And now yeah. they take a penalty.
I uh, there's this video of Penn State's hockey team because I used to watch them back when Smirnov played for them. Yeah, and it's the wisest words I've ever heard any college hockey player say. You can't score if you pass. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I've been I have been on this podcast pounding the table for an NHL hits reboot oh, for years. Yeah, forget being on the podcast. My entire life has been like, yeah. can they please make a new hits? They came out with the what was like five, ten years ago, they came out with NFL the league, and I was like, maybe, maybe they'll come out with the new hits. The league blitz for the record. For whatever reason, they just never revisited those games. Yeah, I don't know why. Like the adrenaline sports games, man. They had the because you had the uh, slugfest for baseball. It was yep. hits for hockey. It was and blitz. Blitz for football. And you had NBA, like NBA Street and like FIFA Street. Yeah, and the Street Series. There was like the Street Series. Which I don't was know a that, little that, well, different. Well, NBA Jam, I guess, was the adrenaline one. The, the NBA version was way more arcadey. It was yeah. it was weird. But Literally in arcade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did they though? Like the league the blitz the league was crazy. You could straight up give people steroids on the sidelines. It was like, fun. Yeah. It was a really weird like glorification of football's culture. For sure. Where they were like, oh, like look at this like super in-depth like x-ray, and you can like watch this guy's like leg snap <laughs> yeah, in half, right. and then they're giving him painkillers on the sideline and sh- and you're just doing crazy shit, and you're like <laughs> God, dude. How he running? <laughs> well, what was the... Uh, there was an HBO show. Yeah, with Ro- with The Rock, right? No, not Ballers. Okay. It was before. It was way before oh, Ballers. That, before my time, It's then, funny, because I've actually been... The last three days, I've been watching Ballers oh, yeah. at night. <laughs> when I haven't been able to sleep, I just go rewatch it. <laughs> just an absurd, absurd premise. Oh my gosh. Can't catch break there, man. I mean, that's just such bad execution. You've got to you've got to have that out. You You're have a clean wrong. out. You're not wrong. Like and then uh, that's but, not another team but, beating well, you. That's you, you beating the you. The thing is like that's this game right now. Then you get LA making just totally biffing it on a play like that. Yeah. And that's why this period sucks. <laughs> this has been a bad hockey game. <sighs> the thing is, like, modern games these days, at least PC games, like, it doesn't matter. You Someone will make a pack, make a mod yep. where you can just download the rosters and you're fine. Well, and that's where the, uh, that's where, like, the Steam Workshop and stuff. Like, yeah, it's insane. Allowing a game to be put on Steam and then allowing it to be, you know, to have your... Moddable in some yeah, way. Yeah, have it be yeah. moddable and then open it up to the workshop where... Like, oh, if you want to play online, like, you can't have any of this shit enabled. But, but for people a, will put insane yeah. amount of work for the single player exactly. experience. Yeah. I don't, I think most Steam users download mods. I, I mean, de- I definitely I see how console gamers never ever do that stuff. Well, but. and this is why we're, like, especially we come from a place of talking about PC for sure. gaming. As, for sure. Like, I own a Switch, but I have no interest in buying current generation Xbox or PlayStation. There's no point. Agree. Oh, my goodness. People just getting blown up. That's the most interesting thing in this hockey game so far. That's a goal. Yep. It just falls apart so quickly. Yep. I mean, I don't under, I don't understand how you get split open that wide. Yep. That's a bad hit. Definitely was a cross check, and now we got some shit going on. I mean, that's just... What the fuck happened on the, that back Is that door, Erod man? who's just AFK? Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, McCarr's not doing anything. I mean, McCarr, like, it wasn't good D for McCarr, but he's at least following the guy across the net front. And I mean, it's it's really like Erod falls asleep on back door. He can't he can't get beat to the back door. Yeah, you can't let a guy jump into that. That's just fucking bad, man. I mean, that's it's just bad. How you lose hockey games? Yeah, this is the stuff that, where they're just not good enough right now to overcome this bullshit. Yep. You know, you got it back to 1-1. You're in this game again. Yeah, you're starting to turn it, and Both then... Both teams are kind of floundering through this second you, period. You trade these, like, weird kind of soft penalties, and you immediately fail to score where you don't shoot again. And you take a and slashing you, penalty, and you give in up some free zone. shit on the other end. You know? Yeah, like it's just it's such bad hockey. You falling asleep over there, Blaze. Uh, this game's pretty boring. <laughs> All right, England. I don't know if I trust you to do that. I do not. <laughs> it's not going to, yeah. We've seen how that story ends yep. over and Way over and over and over times. and over and over. Yeah. All right, Erod, go get it. They're going to reverse it into you. They gave you a chance. Morgan has never won a board battle, man. Not in his life, dog. Is small play small. I don't think the ads have gotten fortunate wins. Like they were outplaying yeah, those they, teams. They earned their wins. Yeah. If anything, they probably deserve to win those games by more than yeah, they, they did. Yeah, they absolutely fucking did. You know, I'm not looking at the Islanders and Canadians games and saying, oh, they got lucky. They outplayed both of those teams by a substantial hey! margin. All right, soft goal for soft goal. Phoenix, Let's go. Phoenix Copley still sucks, confirmed. Yeah. That is soft as shit, man. Not a lot of frenetic energy there. Big yeah. man went to sleep. Dogs. <laughs> I mean, that's that's terrible. That's worse than the Georgiev first goal. I think they're the same thing. Is that, that, is that five the, hole? Georgiev no. at least gets beat outside. I think this goes to right through no, it's, Copley. Oh, it's right the same the spot. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's that's just such a bad goal, man. Dude, like, it, was a, it was a bad goal when you're, it happened know, to, you're right. to Georgiev. Yes, a, I agree. It's a bad goal there. It's it's just, both of them are terrible. Guys, like, that's just a bad goal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot funnier when each team has one now. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah. My fantasy team will take that free assist from Kale. Yeah. All right. You got to hit All the right, reset man. button. You, yeah, yeah. You, you got it back. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, look. Soft goal, hard goal, lucky goal, whatever. It doesn't matter. They well, count the goal. same. Yeah, <laughs> they count the same. You're way less pressed about the one that Georgiev gave up now that you've kind of gotten, it back. Yep, gotten one of your own. I mean, look, now it's 2-2. Two, two. Whoever gives up the next one probably loses. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just a gross reality. Yep. It's just a reality that makes me feel like poop. <laughs> oh, man. Josh Morrissey has left the bench again. Vancouver scores. Connor Garland banks one in off Connor Hellebuck. It comes seconds after Pierre Luc Dubois was felled by a puck to the face. So that's how the score for the Jets right now. Life is tough, man. Yeah, I mean, look how look how hard it is when to sustain when you have major injury issues to key players left and right <laughs> it's just really really hard to keep living that life well the jets are still winning it do be like that sometimes yeah it's 3-2 
Well, I see Toronto came back on Arizona. Well, that's not surprising. Oh, uh, Alex Kerfoot. I like that That's guy. That's hilarious that you're bringing up a staff for Kale McCarr about 30-point seasons. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, that feels like four, a joke, right? Four for four. By the end of his career, no one's going to care about any season he has under 50 points. <laughs> like, yeah, that'll be the real, like, <laughs> was his rookie year his lowest total? <laughs> right. In, in, until he got old. <laughs> You know, in the last, like, three years of his career, it's like, yep. yeah, he's not the same guy anymore, but he's still giving you 40, 40 points a yeah, year 40 or point whatever. Seasons and <laughs> still does one or two holy shit things every once in a while. Or he goes the Eric Carlson route and, you know. His and, ankles and explode. In his, well, yeah. in, his, in his 30s, he's just, like. Finds it again. Yeah. Oh, oh, my yeah. God. Here. Oh, that was get crazy. out of here, Kale! Fucking right on what cue. A, what a does some holy shit thing. things. I'm gonna clip that. Get out of here, Kale! Get out of here! Wow. <laughs> uh, one minute, we can only hail so hard, right? Sir. Like, goddamn. <laughs> that was a shot. Boop. <laughs> Look at his reaction. Yep, he's just like, yep, yep. It's I did just, that. It's just such a howdy cowboy. Like, he looks over and gives him the nod, like. <laughs> I did that shit. <laughs> yep. Hey. Like, who's he saying good job to? That's all you, dog. You intercepted the pass in neutral zone. You danced everybody, and you scored. What the shit, man? You don't need to say thank you or good job to anybody. That's all you. You fucking freak. Oh, my God. Uh, please. Just like that, the abs have a lead. Now, just don't biff yeah. it and murder your goaltender here. What do you mean talking smack about 30 point seasons? We're just saying that's not a me reasonable metric for that guy. I'm not like for most defensemen, totally. Yeah. For Kale McCarr, that ain't shit. Yeah, seriously. You're like, oh, 30 point seasons? Yeah, well, how many games did he play? 30? 25? Like, get out of here. That guy's a freak. I love him. I love that he's like, we get to watch him. Oh, it's the best. I love that every other night we, we oh, Kale, Kale McCarr doing something, yeah. and then oh, I'm I'm on a Kale McCarr off day. Well, now I'm watching Nikola Jokic do something. <laughs> Word. Yeah, we, you're just like you're just like oh, I'm just like watching unicorns in real time, yeah, like literally. in one city, try and lead their their franchises to to certain levels. In Kale's case, it's a level that they've been to, and in Jokic's case, it's a level they've never been to. I don't, I don't, I mean, I think you, you wonder if you drift into dynasty level with Kale. I'm trying to look, they won the one, right? <laughs> I know, I know. It's and, getting ahead of yourself and, a little well, and bit. This is, but this is, this is, this is the conversation from here on out, though, oh. is how far can he take it? Like, yeah. Because especially happening in like what the third year of his career, right. a lot of time ahead of him. Like, remember how we used to joke, well, who knows what he's going to do with a third season? Yep. And all he did was win the Norris Conn Smythe <laughs> in a Stanley Cup. That's it. Where it's like, look, and, and, and probably got boned a little bit. Yeah. Because without the, without the Olympic uh, thing getting canceled, he would have had a gold medal. Yeah. 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 <laughs> England showing that he's got a little bit of... No, no, this is how you stay in the lineup, folks. Nah, God. Get him. Yeah, Andreas England going after Jarrett Anderson Dolan is not a fair fight. Well, he wanted some. It'd be like Blaze coming after me. I'm getting my <laughs> ass kicked every time. He wanted some, so he showed him what was up. Yeah, I mean, I'm good with it, yeah. but I mean, you also got to know that you're beating up a little man. <laughs> oh, for sure. He's like, oh, see? Yeah, well... He knew what he was getting himself into. He also knew that he had officials wrapped yeah. up in the way. The guy. You're not yeah. wrong. You're not wrong. I mean, that's that's classic little man bullshit. Like. <laughs> Coming from a guy who knows. Yeah, <laughs> I've told you guys I used I to know. be the biggest scumbag I in the know. game, man. I know. That's the best thing about the the penalty boxes at the Pepsi Center too. They're because right there. Can, yeah. There's nothing in your way to talking to the Go other guy. Go back on waivers, you plug. <laughs> Those are two guys that, like, 
They should just be like high fiving and being like, "Cash an NHL check." It's the show, baby. Yeah. I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you in the postseason when the rain take on the Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> How good is Dano in the circle? He's pretty good. He's right? very good. Yeah, I thought so. I'll, I'll say he's very good historically. I can't yeah, say I, right. Sure, sure. I have not looked. I'm gonna go, obviously, I'm going to now. That's <laughs> what I do, but. <laughs> Goal by Cal McCarr. Yeah, thank you, ESPN. I, Who knew? Who it. knew? Anytime I'm in Winnipeg and I'm watching on a pirated stream and I'm a minute behind and I get that notification, I'm here. like, oh, cool. So this is coming. Yeah. Well, like the uh, Buffalo game, I got the Alex <laughs> Tuck notification. Ah, shit. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? Still gets the puck somehow. That's insane. He's just a different breed, man. Oh, my God. Oh. He's insane. How does he do it? Shut the fuck oh. up. What the actual wow. hell, Kale? How is Evan Rodriguez's mouth so big? <laughs> it is a genetic anomaly. <laughs> I'm going to not say something like that I should Like this part right here. Just, that. He's, a, he's a freak. He's the fastest kid alive. I'm oh, sorry, but that, that is one of the that whole play time great is movies. Just, it's super bad is yes. elite. We should, Amazing. Movie. We should watch it on New Year's. I'm down. That oh, play, that wow. play from just Miko? disgusting. That Absolutely. Play better. That play from Miko is so fucking Every, better. Everything about that is fucking disgusting. Even yeah. better. Like, holy shit. Three kings of the game. <laughs> and that's and that's where the Avs just fucking beat teams because oh they God. have the talent to just Can we do, do that, that tonight. <laughs> Can we three the, kings? Yeah, it'll be three kings, and it could be Erod, Ranton, and Kale. Yeah. Sold. I'm sold. Do it again. They need to continue this though. Like they I need to win this Can game. Can we find a third king? And Kale can be baby Jesus. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the alien. That was sick. Here it comes. Come on, Arturi. Like Sam Gerard finally got a puck through. They just realized, like, oh, yeah, we can score goals. There's six, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, as soon as we saw those altitude picks, we were like, oh, yep, Blaze is hit. <laughs> Three and a half shots. <laughs> My wife. My wife just texted me, the Kings cannot stop Makar. He's running the show. <laughs> True. Does she want to be on the bus? She a smart lady. Uh, time check is end of second. She watches, uh, she watches I, I looked up at the hockey. scoreboard and it said end second. <laughs> end second is what it says. She's watching the LA feed. <laughs> oh, no. She's like, you should hear them talking about Makar. Yeah. For the record, every broadcast does that. Oh yeah. They're like, oh yeah, they're, oh let's kill McCarr. Well, he I got a P chat, BRB.
Woo-wee. Hey, 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 hey. Hope your intermission's going well, chat. So that's a goal and two assists in that period. Yep. In the last five minutes of that period. <laughs> and that's the type of shit. Like, I know the Abs lineup isn't contenders right now, but the fact that they have dudes that can just flip a game on its head like that. Well, and that's, that's where you're like, look, they're not winning Stanley Cup with this lineup. They're not playing the Stanley Cup. Right. They're, they just need to make the playoffs with yeah. this lineup. <laughs> this, is, this is purely the stay afloat lineup. Yeah. yeah. And they go right back into third place if they keep this win together. That's the thing. They're not out of any. Right. They're chilling. Dallas and Winnipeg have not pulled away. There's no separate. There's no, like, big separation. Yep. I, I mean, Dallas is up by, what, six or eight points? Yeah, but the Avs have three have games in hand or something. Yeah, seven games played. Yeah, exactly. Well, that was the thing with, like, when you look at L.A.'s point total all year. They've had three right. Points they've just played. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they have five more games in hand, or they've played five more games. That's ridiculous, yeah. yeah. And they're only six points up coming into this game. So if the Avs win in regulation... Four points back with three games in hand. Five. Oh, on yeah. L.A.? Okay. Yeah, on yeah that's LA. yeah, that's not even... L.A.'s not even in the lead, really, yeah. at that point. I mean, you're right in it. I mean, I don't think Kale ever really left, but the alien Kale is back. Yeah. He should not be a forward. Yeah, and I also hard disagree with that. What makes Kale so great is the fact that he is a defenseman. Yeah, what he does as a defenseman is unparalleled. You yeah. put him as a forward, he's a really good forward, but... Where is he in that ech- in that in that echelon? Whereas yeah. as a defenseman, he's the best defenseman in the world by a good bit. Yeah, and which one's more valuable? Defense. Kale, 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 Kale McCarr is a right wing, or Kale McCarr is a defenseman. Defenseman. And let's be honest, defensemen don't get paid what forwards do. It's true. So you're keeping that. You're keeping his money down for some reason until that dude has a hundred twenty point season, and Whoa. then he just max <laughs> contract him. <laughs> don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, win tonight. They move ahead of. Well, they tie Minnesota, but with games, with yeah. games have, in hand, yeah, have yeah. games in hand. So that puts them above. Yeah. Yeah, and the Wild lost tonight. Oh, the Jets did pull it out. Yeah, I, I do. I genuinely believe that McCarr spoils Avs fans. Yeah, for sure. Like. He's so good. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> so good. People see EJ and Gerard make these fuck ups, and it's like, yeah, those dudes aren't Kale McCarr. <laughs> like. Yeah. I think, uh, honestly, I think there's a really, really good shot at Colorado Seattle in round one of the postseason. I do too. Berkey getting beat down by the boys. Mm, yep. That'll be my headline. What's yeah. the What's the Seattle? Is it Puget Sound? Is that Seattle? Yeah. 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 Okay. I was hoping it was some bay so you could get another B in there, but I mean the bay is That's Berkey. San Francisco. Bay Berkey, it's the bay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now kiss. <laughs> is that Mike Tyson. Uh, now, with the, Keith. With the, yeah, with the birds? Yeah. Uh, I love Mike Tyson. Weird taken. Given everything that he did. He's and, such, like, yeah. I, I'm so surprised how unseriously he takes himself with, yeah. the, with all the shit he did. Well, <laughs> like, did you ever see? He did like a, it's not like a 
I don't even know what to call it because it's not like a stand-up special. But he had like, like a, a show. It was like a ninety. Yeah. It was like a TED talk on HBO. Yeah, yeah. He's got a cartoon, and like yeah, the cartoon's awesome. It's well, like it's, it's like it's, yeah, it's Scooby like the, Doo, but with Scooby, Mike Tyson. Yeah. 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 The thing is, like, it's like ninety minutes of Mike Tyson like Just opening talking, up about his life yeah. and like mm. talking about his journey and like all the fucked up things that he did and how he ended up so screwed up and yeah. like how Don King fucked him over and <laughs> it is a uh, yeah, it is it is like. Yeah, it's one man show. It's like the guy's done like reprehensible things in his life. Yep. But you're also like, do you ever believe in rehabilitation? Like, where do you, where do sure. you, where do you do that? Right. Yep. Like, who do you apply that standard to? And that's where, you know, guys like Mike Tyson, uh, Michael Vick, where yep. you're like, yeah, yep. like Michael Vick was involved in some well, gross well, things and regarding immediately animals. immediately owned and up to it, served his time. Well, and, like, like, in the middle of his career, yeah. Yeah. went to jail and came out of it, and then, you know, now he's, like, super involved with a bunch of animal organizations. Yep. And you're like, look, like, what he did is... It's it, awful, and what he was involved in was awful. But, but he's but done better since. <laughs> is that is that, like, not the point? Yeah. You know? You know, like rehabilitation is just such a. I don't. We can't talk about this conversation on the stream. Well, <laughs> I just think it's. I just think it's like a, in general, you know. Uh, no, like, I, I. Because like, what if, wait, you know, bro, right now it doesn't feel like it's possible. I, what if, what happens next in Evander Kane's life? I one hundred percent agree with you, but we're. I, I people are going to think I hate America if we keep talking. Yeah, about and this it, I don't want to get it into a like a, a country or society I thing. Know. I just think it's like a, like you see there are people out there who have done it. And you're just like, isn't this what we strive that, for? That like, should be the goal. Absolutely. Isn't this even, yep. even on smaller scales? Isn't that what we do every day when we wake up and we make decisions? We try to better our lives. We try to be better versions of, of people than we were yesterday. Yep. And I don't know. It's, it's interesting to see guys that have done like, like really, <laughs> really bad things in their lives. And come out of it for the better. Well, man. and... and make changes yeah. and we were like he would never do something like that today he's not that same person and how you value that and how you view that person it's complicated you know and Kobe's death was like it tore me up because yeah. I was so I didn't know how to Split feel about on him it because as a it was person, like yeah. post career you know and, and then the second half of his career yeah. changed so much in front of all of us yeah. and I don't know I just think it's a uh, I think it's one of those like fascinating societal topics that I I, I don't know why it's taboo yeah. for us to talk about, but I agree with you. Like we, I honestly should just stop. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, Megan's got the flu too, so yeah, it's going around definitely. And well, she was the only one of us that did not get sick the after first time around. Yeah. Uh, when, when the when the Avs won the Stanley Cup and we were all exhausted, and all and of us every, were like dying. <laughs> we all got super sick immediately after and spent like a week in bed and she was just like, oh yeah, I'll be at everything. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. It's been going around. My whole family's been sick. Yeah. I mean, Z and I like played ping pong with it because <laughs> I drove forth, to Winnipeg yeah. sick. Got, got her there. sick, and then and you then, got it well, back. And I was, yeah. I was feeling a lot better when I got there. And we had like two days where things were normal, and then she got sick. And I was okay for a couple of days, and then I got sick. Yeah. And then it's slowly... The weird thing is, is my cough went away before her. She still has one. Huh. See, that? I that's just a me problem, too. Like, when I get sick, the cough holds over for like months. So the, the cough has always been the thing, and that's why I kept taking cold medicine. Yeah. It's because I was like, I hate this so much. You're putting I'm getting it rid down. of this cough. Yeah. <laughs> I was taking nighttime medicine, daytime medicine. I was just like, I don't care. I'm getting rid of this. <laughs> yeah, you know, so I was in Chicago in 2017 for the draft. Yeah. And I remember being on the draft floor that morning, like that afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Well before TV started and everything, and I'll tell you, like, all there of the conversations, buzz, yeah. all of the conversations was that Philadelphia was taking Makar. And then they didn't. And the other thing was um, New Jersey had not decided on 
Patrick versus Heischer. Yeah. And so I'm 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 imagining, okay, what if you redo so that? If New Jersey goes Patrick. If they go yeah. Patrick and Philadelphia has Hisher goes, or McCarr. and goes McCarr. And Dallas still takes Haskin in because the word is that Dallas was but, taking so Haskin in. Avs end up with Hishier. Exactly. I mean, yeah, the same. Avs don't have a two C problem anymore, right? Like, well, the Nazem Kadri thing never happened. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, so, but then you also have no Kale McCarr. Yep. That's yeah. I mean, the what ifs are. Incalculable. Well, and it's, like, it's kind of the same thing with uh, Jack Hughes. Sure. Bad draft. Like, yeah. The abs at three, I'm very, Pretty very, sure very, very Doc. confident yeah. would have taken Kirby Doc. Because they absolutely, there were a couple of guys that year that I knew that they were really high on. Yeah. Um, three guys that they did not take. <laughs> Obviously, they were plenty high on Bo and Byram, but they loved Kirby Doc. They loved Matt Boldy too, and Spencer yeah. Knight. Yeah. I remember talking to somebody who was just like, oh, we, we love Knight. Like, not, a, not an abs person, just one of just, the... Yeah. Somebody employed by a team. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like, we, we, love, we love Spencer Knight. <laughs> They're like, his maturity, his approach. He's a professional goaltender, and he's... 18 years old. And then Florida decided to stick Bob in front of him for some reason. Well, and like, you make those decisions not knowing if Knight is going to continue. Of course. Because Knight also was like, like he got to the NHL extremely quickly. Yeah. For a goalie, insanely yeah. quick. And that was the thing with like the Bob deal is that, yeah, it was silly when they did they it. And everybody they, was like, Kay. But they figured they had a couple more years but on Knight. I think they yeah. probably expected that they would get through four Bob years yeah. and then Knight would be the backup on the back half of that deal. Yeah. Not, oh, Spencer Knight is now taking Bob's <laughs> job, job actively yeah. in year three. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think that they saw that one happening. <laughs> So, I mean, you guys, you guys don't know what happens. The trickle down effect, we don't know. Right, you'll never know. You if can't they don't know. take, if they don't take Kale McCarr, okay? Yeah. What do they do? Do they trade Tyson right. Berry? Do they keep Tyson Berry? Are they looking for a defenseman in the trade market instead of Kadri? Like, what right. defenseman like do the, they go out and target? If they decide to move Berry, is the how different is that deal? Yep. You know, does Kerfoot stay? Do they still make the Burakovsky thing because they keep Kerfoot? The trickle down there is enormous. Yep, and it's the same thing with uh, it's the same thing with Hughes and Kadri. Yep, or Hughes and Byram and Kadri. Uh, like, uh, and, and if they take Hughes, well, and you like, you're not ending up with Newhook at 16 then either. Probably. I mean, do you take Krebs instead because you have you them get the evenly. defensive guy? Or well, there's not really a defender that they liked. Well, that I'm spot. saying Krebs is a, like a defensive three C. Oh yes, like, yeah, exactly. Where you're like. You can picture one, two, three, yeah. or a new hook. You're like, well, you know, maybe they still take new hook, and they're like, he'll just be Jack Hughes's left wing. <laughs> that's true. And you're like, all right, well, that's also fucking hot. Uh oh. Uh, third period is going as EJ still can't skate. Uh, 1939, 38, 37, 36, 35. That is a delay of game. Nah, I went in the bench. I think they're going to... They're taking them. Yep. Oh, Jesus, yeah. That was turbo airmail, Cogs. Actually, a sick play by whoever. Was it Hunt? Hunt tried to save the day. <laughs> it was a sick play, yeah. yeah. And then they they made they gave the penalty to Hunt instead of Cogs. That's hilarious. Honestly, I mean, good trade for the I was going to yeah. say, Cogliano's <laughs> on your PK. That's a good deal. <laughs> what did they call it? Delay of game? They, interference? They said interference? Yeah. Okay. Now they're just making <laughs> shit up. All right. Is that the best play of Brad Hunt's career? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know how much of Brad Hunt you guys have watched in his previous NHL stints. Not but enough. He's <laughs> Vegas version of Brad Hunt was like where he had some offensive slap. Yeah. There was like 
you're like, uh, I don't know who the fuck this guy is. And he's got a boring ass name, but this guy's actually kind of good. <laughs> One where you're like, yeah, I think wow, Brad Hunt is exactly the kind of guy to slip through the, the cracks. cracks here. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yep. That was that's a way free. brutal penalty kill. Yeah, they didn't cover fucking That's so fucking anything. free, man. You cannot be making... Uh, you can't go on your power play ever again. Yep. <sighs> Unbelievable, man. I mean, that coverage is just awful. That's so awful. <laughs> and, like, those, that's your top pairing. Yep, those are your best dudes. Like, you're... You're not finding a way to blame Sam Gerrard on that. That's your, <laughs> those are your best guys that just got bodied. Absolutely torched. Well, it was a really fun four minutes, but the rest of this game has not been great. <sighs> That's like the one thing you can't do, man. Like. Oh, you're protecting a two-goal lead? A All right. You path right back make into them the game. Yeah. work for it, and you give up a just a absolutely yeah. dumb penalty. And then you don't you don't you provide no resistance well, on the PK. Like, it's not like oh well the rookie did. It's fucking Cagliano. Yeah. Ugh. And now I have no confidence in the rest of this game. I have confidence that they'll get a point. Believe, AJ, believe. Yeah, go get him, Miko. Damn. <laughs> He's taking the puck with him. It was a magic trick. Dude. Ugh, this is just This is not great, Bob. Charles Udon gets a shift in the third period. He does that with it. Oh. Look, if they get a, if they get a goal from McDermott, McDonald, and Houdon, they have to win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If that if that line scores a goal, <laughs> Jesus. That's the best shift that, that line's ever had. <laughs> Don't mess it's with bullshit. The King. It's bullshit that the linesman is keeping McDermott from engaging, and they're letting everybody else do it. <laughs> it's bullshit. They know the one guy they got to stop. Ugh. Would have been down with a uh, J-Con goal. That would have been fun. 
A backhand, too. <laughs> what do you think? Last shift for that line? Even though it went oh, well, yeah. like unless the Avs score another one. How how are you e eating like mint gum? Peppermint. After some poutine? Yeah. Those two things sound like they would be horrible one it's after the other. As a palate cleanser. Uh -huh. <laughs> It's actually some Mueller that I had over here. Oh my god, just hoarding <laughs> it to yourself over there? Yeah. Little shooters of Mueller. <laughs> I miss I miss that stuff. It, re it really wasn't bad. It like, was not. It was not bad at all. Compared to the coffee fucking Jaeger and the other shit we've had to drink. <laughs> Come on, Miko. Finish this. Well, that's yeah, not that's, that's not, not how you finish anywhere. this. Is that a shot on net though? Because I need that. I, my, I, he, Miko, Miko really has decided to be passy man tonight. Yeah, like, he's only had two shots on net so far. That could be the third though. I think that counts. I think that I mean, it, I, yeah, that should it count. It, yeah. just count. it really should. Oh. <laughs> Would love to see Nui get something done, but probably can't even see out of his one eye. It's really hard to get something done for that guy. Yeah. When it's not happening via transition. Yeah. You see England just chase that guy down? Yeah. <laughs> Slow speed chase. <laughs> I mean, it's... He, oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> That was almost <laughs> so bad. I mean, it still is because they're down here. It's yeah. still not good, but that it was almost a, scoring a chance. free two-on-one for L.A. Ugh. What's up, Mark? Oh God! Again, that's your best pairing. Defensive D. All right, everybody, stop raising their hand and just get the puck out of there. Nice play, Kale. Not as nice a play, but oh god. <laughs> okay, they're fine. They're fine. It's fine. Not yet. They're fine. They're still stuck out there. You it changed was nice to get out one there, or two forwards. They counted it. There you go. You need one more. The empty yeah. netter confirmed. <laughs> fine with Fortunate it. Fortunate bounce there, kind of. Your D get off here and you're okay. Yeah, but then your real problem is who's getting on. A Hood bunch on. of dudes you're trying to survive with. Yeah. Who's getting on? Who on? I doubt it. Who on the ice? Who on ice? I doubt it too. <laughs> oh. Nice. That was nice, a nice, nice little play yeah. from New Hook. 
Oh wow! That Tried guy to went run for the him knee. over. Yeah, that there was there was a little stuck out leg yeah, there, wasn't there was, it? There yeah. was some intent with that shit. Well, nice. Oh boy. It's that's fine. That's okay. That's the right play. I can live with that for me, Jay. Yeah, <laughs> that's the right play. It is. All right, you survived that deep air. Now you got to survive the next deep air. What? <laughs> they took it away now. <laughs> <laughs> it what? comes and goes. How did Ooh, that happen? That was it was generous. close. It was close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was generous. Chilling. Yeah, their schedule gets a little... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Toronto, Vegas, Florida is not. An Nothing easy free road. there. <laughs> but McKinnon might be back in the middle of that. Yeah. <laughs> Would really like to have him back for Toronto. Yeah. I'm not counting on it, but. Me neither. That's going to be a tough game. Yeah. I don't know. We felt pretty optimistic when the abs popped off at the end of the second period, I think. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't. It's just the ebb and flow of the hockey game. Mm, what else is Cogs going to do with his life? You know, these, a lot of these guys at the so end good. of the road, you know, <laughs> this is just what they do. Yep. They don't know anything else. Nope. That dude was eight <laughs> feet off the ice, man. <laughs> He's a oh, foot in the air. Oh, Mikey Anderson went for a little. Uh, <laughs> got some air on that. That was good. <laughs> I like Mikey Anderson. He's a good player. Not a good play. No. <laughs> I mean, he tried that and Rob Blake ass of doom, and now you see why his shit doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Those guys have figured out how to slip it. Dude's just too fast. Yeah. Oh, what? Hat trick in Buffalo. Yep. Acaposo had one. <laughs> yep. Somebody else That's had a hat trick tonight, too. Whoever Casey sat. I forget who he said it was, but. Barkov. Barkov, thank you. <laughs> Landeskog won't be back until like mid January at the earliest realistically probably February. Yeah, I'm expecting they will give him the all-star break because that's like an extra 13 days or yeah, whatever for the need to insane. heal up and for yeah. him to feel good and get on the ice and be like, "Okay, he's 100%." That's the earliest I expect him back. If he's back by mid January, I think he's feeling great. Yeah. He hasn't even resumed. You take that dub, but there's no way you're rushing him like yeah, he hasn't even resumed serious skating, so. Dude, I can't believe they, they added it on and took it off. <laughs> Specifically to spite oh. you. I mean, your other bets are going to hit, right? Well, you need, I guess you need like four or five more shots from the Kings, yeah. but. I'd be okay if they didn't get those. Yeah, I could live without that, yeah, to be honest. Too. Really, their defense at even strength has gotten better as the game has gone on. They just got to stop been, taking the dumb penalties. Dude, yep. the PK has been fucking horrible. Yep. EJ kind of got worked in that corner, bud. Yeah, I think that was a, all right, I'm going to pin this. Help. <laughs> yeah. I don't trust myself to make a play, so. I need oh, aid. God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah. Is that that's on the Kings? Yeah, it is, but. I'm worried about him being hurt. That looked like yeah, it really he's, didn't. He's feel, looking oh, for a cut no. down there. I'm worried about that being groin. He looks okay. EJ looked like he cracked his head on the ice. 
Let's see. Oh, that, that should have been a penalty on EJ, probably. But Rantanen just got his legs taken out, and then EJ falls backwards. Oh, he stopped himself. Yeah. Well, can we come on, play all the there. way through? Oh, the, yeah. He, the worst. He prevented it. Yep. I don't know, a guy with multiple shoulder problems, though. <laughs> a little... <laughs> Not a great own, like, look, separate yeah. concern. Yeah. Well, so they lose They lose to no. That's a big deal for their PK, for yeah. sure. Come on, score this yeah. year. Just make your life let's, easy, huh? Let's get a dagger here from the Moose. It doesn't have to be hard every night. Ah, oh, that didn't even I reach mean, the net for nope. you, Blaze. Depending, <laughs> depending how sick Miko or Kale can be, it could be pretty hard tonight still. <laughs> I, love, I love when I say something, you just look at me like, did you seriously just say this? <laughs> oh, it always makes me laugh. <laughs> It's just too oh easy to read, JT. Gosh, it's dude. just too easy to read. You there's put yourself no, in a corner. There's no explosion there yeah. at all. Like, and then Kale does some shit. Doesn't work though. Okay. This all is, right, now go. Yeah, just set it up. Uh. uh it's fine. Calculated. It's fine. It's fine. It worked. It worked. Uh, uh, well, I hate that. There we go. Get it out. That was not the way to end that possession. I yeah. hate that. Yeah. They were going to challenge offsides if they scored. Them. <laughs> That's fine. They're welcome to be on another PK. <laughs> I think they would have got it. I don't think so. Oh, uh, no. Nah. Mulligan's got to make that play, man. No, oh, no. Mm. The second unit is just dead weight, man. Uh, it's you're now one minute closer to the end of the game. Yep. <laughs> like that's not effective. It's so easy to defend when yep. it's the same thing every single time. Yeah. Well, it, like the Kings are directing it, right? They're pushing the, the yeah. entry man to that wall yeah. and they have a guy covering the dude on the corner. Yep. Like they're waiting for that drop. Yep. That guy needs to take the puck to the corner himself or yep. he needs to dump it in. Yep. That's not what you want from that entry, but you're you got to keep him getting, honest, though. Yeah, yeah, you're getting beat. Like, they're defending it without any effort whatsoever, and you're not getting anywhere with what you're trying to do. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. It's fine. They both fell over. I mean, it's two not great skaters, <laughs> but that should be in now. And now they have a zone possession yeah. out of this. And on one, what because he been couldn't an fucking easy handle exit. stopping. Yeah. Ugh. Great work from Lecky there, man. That was insane that he got them out of that. That's off. <laughs> They're changing anyway. Well, Houdon got another shift. You know who didn't? Jaycon. Yeah. What's we need, he at? Oh, we need scoring chances. <laughs> I am going to guess 346. That seems about right. I, I think he's over three tonight. If the NHL shit website would load. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was about 10 seconds off. Yep. <sighs> Charles Houdon's at 423. McDermott's at 357. Yep. Oof, England's at 836. That's pretty low. <laughs> how yeah. much? How? Yeah, EJ's up at almost 18. Yeah. Then he's at almost 20, so... 
They've gotten what they've needed out of that pairing. It's been sketchy as fuck, but they haven't gotten dumpstered tonight. Yeah, uh, for sure. All right. Let's just pin this puck for yep, seven minutes. Just You're chilling. Stand there. Nice work. Yeah, great job by Miko. If I had a dime for every time the Avs shot it into the first guy, I wouldn't be rich, but I'd have a lot of dimes. You'd have a dollar. I'd have more than a dollar. I mean, you'd have a dollar tonight. You'd <laughs> yeah, have way fair. more than a dollar. <laughs> you'd have like three dollars. Yeah. I'd, I'd, EJ alone might get me in three to five bucks, I think. Yo, EJ in his prime. <laughs> Would have made you about as much as he made. <laughs> Post taxes. Damn. This is a 90% tax out here. Brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Colorado's known for that. That's why they can't sign free agents. Six million dollar contract. You're only walking home in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was there. This is a totally real text conversation. <laughs> People definitely text like this. I'm so in. <laughs> I kind of, we should do like a voiceover of this commercial. <laughs> Tickets, pizza, beer. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to interact with complete strangers <laughs> about your favorite hockey team? I mean, that's basically our Discord server. No, our Discord server is a bunch of incels talking about cum. Yeah, but they were strangers once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> They're still strange. <laughs> Just no longer strangers, right? <laughs> I don't think anything about anything Biz says. Yep. <laughs> oh no, the camera died and Yahir's not up here. What do we do? Hey, just sell the Discord hard. <laughs> Our Discord is, uh, the Avalanche section of the Discord is very... It's specific, internet. to <laughs> say the least. It's very, yeah. it's very guy on the internet. It's seriously, it's the only one of the communities, though, that hangs out for games, has its own voice chat, and watches games, like, watches games together. Other hockey games yeah. and stuff, too, yeah. They watch, they'll watch Eagles games, they'll watch WJC stuff, like... I already did, and also the camera died, so... You're right, no one needs to see me. I'm ugly. Pretty ugly. Yeah, let's see how the Avs are in empty net situations. I, mean, I feel like pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I feel like nobody thinks their team is good in that situation. I just think that's a very natural. Ah! Okay, uh, against empty net. That's fine. Who cares? Okay, against the empty net. Let's see here. Uh, the abs have five goals for and four goals against. Uh, How for many the record, of those are like with two down though? Like you need more the, spe specifics there. For the record, uh, Against an empty net, the Kings have given up the most empty net goals this season. Oh my! With seven. That's that's a lot. But they've scored. Oh God! They've scored five. Well, and, we won't be seeing matter. an empty net tonight. So, all right, does not fucking matter. I mean, you just let a dude walk right down the middle of the ice. Like, yeah. what are you doing? And not even a like, not even that guy. Like, like, not even contested. See, I was telling, I was saying that this, this pairing, pairing, you'd gotten away with it, and then they just shit the bed. Ugh. Ugh. Need a save. I don't think that's the one you need a save on. That's from the middle of the ice, yeah, top really corner. Or like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's a great goal.
Oh no. Man, that would have been, I mean, Miko. That one was definitely a shot, boys. Good, one more. Yeah, one more and have it go in. Yep. Yeah, it's weird you're still like sleepy in a 5-5 five, five game or 4-4 four, four game. I'm not sleepy, that's just the way I look. <laughs> this is who I am, man. Once you have four kids, it's a lot of time you're tired. <laughs> you know, I had a four-year-old uh, helper in my bed last night uh -huh. who likes to fight in his sleep, basically. Did he win? Yeah, he won. He kicked me in the genital a few times. <laughs> We have a tiny dog that thinks it's really funny to walk up to his two humans when they're sleeping and lick their eyes. Oh, God. <laughs> I have that, too. My <laughs> tiny dog does that all the fucking time. My dog, my, we have two dogs. And my boy dog loves to get in the crack of my legs when I'm, like, turned on my side. Oh, yeah. And lay right there so he can't yeah. move the rest of the night. Our dog does that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no... You go into the third period with a two-goal lead, blowing it is unacceptable. There's there's no two ways around that. Yeah. It feels a lot like last night. Don't say that. But it does, you gotta admit. Your star player does dumb shit, gets you the lead, and then it's like, fuck. What happens to the rest of the team? Yeah. I don't know how they end up with a shootout with two goalies playing like shit. Yeah, there's no way this one survives overtime, I don't think, if it gets there even. Yeah, if but. it gets there, it's going to end quick. I don't know. He lost to be his honest. job for a while. I just thought it was a good conversation to have because I remember. They're back in it. Yeah. No news on Byram. If there's ever news on Byram, we will update you. I promise. That's. I think that's the question we get the most. Yeah. News on Byram, and there's never any. We start putting a thing at the bottom. <laughs> no news. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Abs are trying to throw. They're yeah. trying. That was a big block by JT right there. I mean, what the fuck yeah, is that, That dude? was so weird. You can't make that mistake high in the zone like that. Like, oh, God. Like, Nathan McKinnon's not there to bail you out, dude. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Kings are playing for OT right now, man. They're just... I don't think so. Ah, uh, dude, I think so. I don't think so. They're at all. stacking their own blue line, man. <laughs> Good try. It's really low percentage, but I don't. I don't. I mean, care. you're it's not. A good, a, it's yeah. a good attempt, man. From this, from that guy, you're yeah, not asking I don't for more yeah. than that. Ugh. Oof. 
Well, they called it. Okay. Wow. Win it right fucking here. Yeah. You guys are fucking soft, he said. I, I don't care about this. Show me the penalty. It wasn't even all that close. It was not. Well, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's easy. Pretty blatant interference. Yeah. How is that soft? <laughs> yeah. It's illegal, dumbass. <laughs> that is a hockey crime. <laughs> All right, King scored two on the power play, right? So match them and you win this hockey game. Yeah, that's a good point. <sighs> it's got to be Miko, right? No. I don't think it's going to be Miko, man. He just doesn't look... It might not be, but it's got to be. I just don't think he looks great right now. He looked for it. Yeah. Where'd it go? Yeah. And can they get can they get back into the zone? <laughs> that is the question. All right, is it the Holy craziest fuck, idea dude. in the world to drop it back to Kale without Mac? Apparently, man. Like, I, I don't know why they're obsessed with making Comfort do it, I guess, is my question. Goal. <sighs> that, uh, fuck it. That's what this game deserves. <laughs> <laughs> Those bouncing pucks, man. Scary. There, that's what I was saying. Do Knew exactly that. Work, and yeah. look at that. It turns into a fucking... What oh. should have been a free setup. It should have been there, man. Yeah. I don't know. How are you fighting a puck with nobody around you? <coughs> God damn it, man. That was it. Well, now they, they now respect they that. And yeah. Look. yeah. They respected the dump in and it, they took it away. And they kill the rest of this with a smart play. Oh, damn it. Oh, Lord. Why that dude just. There? Oh, that's, that's a trip. A trip Pretty man. blatant. Hello? Yeah, that's, that's a. We don't want to call any more penalties. Yeah. And that's a blatant fucking trip. That would have been fun. Oh. That would have been fun. Yeah, had they gotten had they a uh, Sean Walker with your game tying goal and then Andreas England with the game winner yeah. for a game winner. Like, what the fuck even is this? Yeah, yeah, you're just like, okay, this is an AHL hockey game. Back to the point, Cogs, you coward. I think he's just playing for OT. Oh, he is. They both are. Both these teams are like, yeah. let's just get a fucking point out of this right now. Well, nobody hates this. They're all just like, yeah, okay, this is fine. I mean, at the start of tonight, if you'd said I'd get a point, I'd feel yeah, okay. Look, and, and the end result is you get a point. And you hate you you hate how it happened. How the bread got made. Yeah, for sure. you don't you don't love this at all, dude. But it's a point. Like yep. it just is. It's a point, and can't take it. Can't take it off the board. They get the extra point. They're in third place, and like. I will take another fucking kale thing. The car kind of does the stink face when he scores, doesn't he? A little bit. Look at him. He's a little, a little how do you do? <laughs> he, does the, he does the fucking bro nod, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. But he gives you the, yeah. the big frown, like. <laughs> it's true. This was a hockey game. Without any doubt. Mm. 
<clears throat> All righty, let's see what they got for OT. All right, who scores the winner? You can only pick one player. You can't pick one from each team. One player? Yeah. It's going to be something fucking weird. Uh, LOC. Mm. I'm going to go Taves. I'm going to go Donnell. I, I might agree with you, but I wasn't willing to pick a king, so. Wow, six and six. Good God. That's a that's lot. A, that's that's a lot. like 30% of their games in overtime. Yeah. That is a lot, man. I mean, the Avs have nine of 30, or I guess this is now 10. The Avs have had a lot, yeah. too, but to it's, have more than the Avs feels yeah. fucking crazy. Like The Avs are now at 10 of 35. 34. And they are at 13 of 39. Yeah, so that's a lot. There's still yeah. a higher percentage by a good bit there. Oh, oh boy! Goodness. Oh boy! Okay, all right, we're settled down now. There you go. Good, good, good. <laughs> Lots of pressure. You get your change, yeah. Change. You're chilling. Yeah, yeah. You're chilling. You're changing. He wants off. Yeah. Oh, Lord. No trust. <laughs> no faith. Yeah. Love that Nui's getting a look, though. Yeah, I do like that, too. And now oh, I don't. No. I mean, that's, that's a nothing thing, but you still gave up possession. Yeah, I mean, you lose. Like, love that Nui's getting a look as he chokes. Yeah, completely so biffs it. Last <laughs> fucking time, he'll get an Yeah, OP he's not ever. getting another look after that. <laughs> I take it back. I don't like fucking anything. <laughs> if I have to pick an app to score a winning goal, I'm picking Erod. <laughs> Now, LOC right here. Some dirty, nasty, reboundy garbage. It's oh, going to be a tip. If it's a tip, it's probably JT that scores it then, but. Careful. You're get caught it's a little, it was a little casual for sure. Oh, you got God. two players moving the same way. That's easy to defend. <sighs> I'm telling you, dude, coaches have ruined three on three. Yeah. It is pretty boring. Till it's not. You have to drop that. And you have to put now a better shot it. on it, it than back. that. It's covered. I mean, I I like the thought from the Kings player there. He at yeah. least tried something. I mean, Arvidsson is trying. Man. Yeah. That's sick. And then Kale just makes a better play. Yeah. It's oh, so. No. <laughs> it's fine. Oh Kale's a god. <laughs> Kale is a no, god among men. Not, no, no. Ow! Oh, no! Oh, oh, Kale! Fuck. He can only do so fuck. much. He can only do so I much. I agree with that guy. And now you're in trouble here. You're in trouble here. Fuck. Ugh. <laughs> this is the thing about three on three, though. It's. <laughs> It Does did. Not take it long it turned up. Off. It turned up real quick. It did. That's a smart play by Miko. Yeah, Miko said, "Fuck this. Yeah. Start over." He looked. He looked yeah. around and said, "We don't got anything going on." 
Malgan getting an OT shift, huh? Why not? We're desperate. <laughs> yeah, Malgan and Rantanen, just who you would think is on the ice together. <laughs> yep. Morgan doesn't know how to play next to me. Yeah, so. Morgan has no fucking clue what he's doing out there right now. <laughs> this is so sketchy, uh, dude. This Miko is, wants to do something stupid. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it in my bones. Turn around and skate, Miko. Oh shit. <laughs> It's fine. It's that. okay. Just don't let him dance you. It's a good player. Oh, missed it. Just, yeah, no bueno. All right, to the corner. You're to the shootout. Yeah. Woo! Is there a difference? <laughs> what the fuck's going on there? Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, you have to right now. The e rod's definitely your one of your shooters. Oh, God, just it just bounced. Just bounced. Yeah. Yep. Oh, <laughs> it happens. Time in OT, none. <laughs> so I mean, your shooters are E Rod, Miko, and X, <laughs> Kale, Lecky, Kale. No, probably Lucky. Lucky doesn't have any moves. <laughs> Neither does Miko, and he makes it work. <laughs> Lucky just skates in and shoots five holes. Uh, who else do you throw out there? I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, they might use JT, but I don't love it. <laughs> does Bonds have any moves? No. Not anymore. Well, <laughs> he might have moves, he just doesn't have hands anymore. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the guy that I'm not putting out there is LLC. Yeah, definitely would not. <laughs> He's pretty low on the list. Yeah, dude. Nui is a good option. Nui too. would be fun for sure. Not Morgan. Taves? No. Taves I mean, doesn't I, have. If he goes years, five or six, a, I don't know. He Who cares? Still not there. At that point, it's just off looking. Yeah, right. If you get past five, you're just picking fucking whoever at that point. Like, just stop this one, Georgie. You stop this one, you feel pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Hey, oh. Yeah, nice. Didn't get him. Good work, bud. You gave your team the advantage. Now you yep. just live with whatever happens. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you gotta. Still I mean, got work to do. You need your forwards to execute now, right? Like, if I'm Erod, I keep doing that move till somebody stops Oh, it. absolutely. Absolutely, you're doing that move again. Yeah. I would have started with Erod, too. Uh, there it is. Yep. Well, and again, you do it until it gets yeah. stopped. Yeah. He absolutely had him backhand there, though. If he committed, yeah, he, he had him dead. Yeah, he knew where he was going. Well, not really. He could have went five hole. Yeah, had he gone it was five, really five. Yeah, super right. there. Yeah. Slipped, super if he there. slipped at five hole, that would have been the play. It's just but. he's never seen a goalie still in the net. When yeah. he's, that move. he's like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Why is that guy still there? Oh, Arvidsson? Man. Oh, boy. Arvidsson's nasty. He's got some yeah. danglers. Yeah. Ooh. A little stutter step. No, he's full send. Damn, that's tough, man. You're give bit hard. Yeah. Miko uh, got to lip rip a laser like he does now. Come on, Miko. No, never had anything there. Yeah, he didn't have any. Fuck Even man. if that went in, he went backwards. Like Yeah, there was no goo. This is a th how many times do we see this with Miko where he just goes in and shoots and he scores, but yeah. when he tries to make moves. It just nothing happens, yeah. It's just not as good. Well, now you've got the game right here. Hmm. Oh, man, Kempi's another guy. He's pretty good. Yep. Yep. All right. 
Avs kind of blew that one. Yeah, they kind of. They fucking choked that I mean, away, I man. mean, they, they straight up blew it. But, you know, again, at the start of the game, if you get a point, it feels less bad. The start of the third period, you only get one point. It feels terrible. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll talk about it in the post game. We'll see you there. Talk to you soon.